So, I like the blood build. I don't have to change it at the end if I get to the Elden Beast, but um, if I would recommend any of these classes, I would probably say the Samurai uh, would be the best to play. Um, that's probably who I'm going to use. So, but um, another good fighter would be the Vagabond would be more beefy. It does have a 15 vigor, which is the biggest vigor out of all of them. Next to that would be probably the hero. Warrior is okay. The, you might want to change the weapons later, though. They're crappy weapons. Um, but the best thing about... These are magic wielders. He sucks. Um, that knife sucks, so I wouldn't really use them unless you, you're better. The, the, the better you, you play, the easier you can usually do a wretch if you want to try it that way and start from the very, very beginning at level 1. But I'm going to go and do this a little quicker. So I'm going to go with the Samurai. I'm going to play as a girl. Um, let, me na let me name my character real quick. I have to do it on my... Oh, I got it here. Sheesh. All right, so I'm going to... Elden Chick. Sounds good to me. There we go, Elden Chick. And then... Uh, Young, always get a golden seed, to just extra FP or MP, uh, oh, or HP, health or magic, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to change the character a little bit where they look, a little bit of darker skin. I'm slightly darker, not too much darker, but I am a little darker. Uh, the face, I don't really care too much about. But the hair, I don't know why, but. My favorite hair is probably this one. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. It just to me it looks better. And then let's go up there. It's your body. Uh, just a little bit there. Not too much. All right. So let's go ahead and save the favorites. I'll just save it there. I'll load her up. Now because I'm gonna just guide y'all on playing this game, I am gonna kind of just show y'all. I just get strong quickly. Well, not super quickly. It's, it's going to take maybe a couple hours to do it, but I'll show y'all so y'all don't struggle too much. It's just now I'm I'm actually playing the game normally, and I'm getting wrecked. But at the same time, it's a it's a, it's a lot easier too. So you can always do that. Now this game should load up really quick. It's on my PC, so we'll do it that way. And. Um, Let's see here, there we are, get out of there, show up in the little building, first things first, there we are, alright, let's go ahead and get this, right. let's get out of here, depending on how you have, have your buttons, makes them, like, for me I was playing Final Fantasy XIV, so the triangle is actually my jump button instead of the X. And the X is the collection. I just think collecting things with X is a lot easier for me. Alright, so we're gonna go. Let me uh, kind of. I'm just gonna jump off because uh, you can try to kill this guy, but I have no no health or anything. So now the second playthrough, like on plus, you can actually um, you can actually uh, beat this guy later. On. So just make sure the, the health thing is there before you fall off, or you'll have to try it again. Does it hurt you to die here? It's just part of the game mechanic. It's just to show you what kind of fighting you're going to be ending up playing. But this will make it easier for you all, so you won't have to suffer so much um, playing this game. This game could be very hard. It took me, well, it's been two years now just to finally beat the game. And I've been playing this for a long time. I'm going to go back past all this. I don't really care. I do like to go down here, though, and collect uh, runes. Runes is your money. You can drop down. Ow! My teammate led this random dude that has the most overpowered weapon in the game into the little area that I was in. So to stop the grace. kill. Wow. Alright, so you're gonna test the grace, you're gonna sit in the grace, and we're gonna load up that uh, extra potion for our health right now. Load it up as you can allocate. So the left is gonna be health, the right is gonna be magic. I think it's good like this because it's just the beginning. I'll collect more and I'll show y'all where all, most of these rune, uh, golden seeds are and stuff. Alright, so to kill these guys real quick, just jump behind them with R2 and you can hit them really hard. This is how I kill most of these guys. 
can see they're pretty easy. This will show you different things you can do, but you just jump and attack them. It's good. I'll show you how to stab them in the back or in the front after they drop down. Um, it's like a, it's called a, I don't know, it's an extra damage thing. Don't worry about this guy up there. We're going to hit him later on. Always collect things here, and I'll show you all why in a little bit. But collect these things, like fruit, whatever you see on the ground, just pick it up. Okay, so this guy here, we're going to kind of hit him, roll back. We're going to jump up, oh, oh, missed. So you want to jump back, because he will hit you with this spear. What we're trying to do is, there we go. Now, I'm going in front of him. The way I did that, see how his arm went back, his shield? that you go close to him and you hit R1 and you do a, a like a, a major stab that'll actually kill them usually bigger bosses bigger or harder bosses will be a little hard, harder if you're not overpower or you're not powerful enough, but most of these guys are really easy even the first boss in this game is really easy okay so this is if you go from side to side usually he shouldn't be able to hit you So there's this guy here, and I'm just gonna whack him real quick. And I'm just doing R2 just to kill him real quick. Okay, here you can crouch down with the L3 button. It's just the one that you're moving, but this is L3, the one that you move around with like this, and you can focus on them. You focus on them with R3, just the other view, your view. You just wanna kinda sneak up behind him and do R1 behind him. Major stab. Like quickly. And like I said, guys, all I'm doing here is just collecting. Oh, oh he doesn't see me though. Any, even though I, we can see me, he, he can't see me, so he's gonna turn back. So if you crouch, he can see you in the bushes. Basically, if you crouch in the bushes, they can't usually see you unless they saw you or hit you or you hit them. Okay, this guy here, this is what I'm gonna tell you. You jump, you hit him. And he's gonna crouch down that stagger and then you hit him with R1 when he's staggered and you do a major hit. You do that, oh, oh, like that, staggered, and bam. We're gonna do that to the main boss that's coming up. So we're gonna go ahead and see how we're collecting runes. That's the money we're gonna be using to get some others, uh, a couple of other things here. Alright, so this guy here, we're gonna kinda run towards him. We're gonna get one more little message. So you want to hit him right now, staggered, and easy. He is gone. Not, not all bo big bosses are going to be that easy, so just remember that. So, and I know these speedrunners that do speedrunning, but I'm not really doing speedrunning. I'm just trying to get y'all strong early in the game so that you don't suffer when you play through the rest of the game. Just makes it a lot easier. That's what the things I should have learned when I was playing back then. You know? All right, so we're gonna change some stuff here. Um, I'm actually gonna put my blue potions right there. That way I'll have an extra spot. To, that's how I do it. I don't know how y'all do it, but that's how I do it. Let me go ahead and touch this grace because we're gonna be coming back to this cave right here when we're stronger and get some nice items. I mean, tough monsters and stuff, but I mean, once we get strong enough. Shouldn't be that bad of a fight afterwards. Now, doing this will make it uh, harder for you to uh, get uh, less runes because you know you start off with little runes and then you, they get bigger as you level up. Well, because of the level you're going to be at, it's going to be harder to collect these runes. But I mean, if you can live long enough to kill like a three, few, three or four bosses, you can collect it that way too. I'll tell you what's, what I mean whenever you get to the point. A lot of this is just waiting. Alright, so a lot of things that people do here in this game that they mess up is try to fight that guy on the horse back there. We don't want to do that. That's a waste of stress, uh, stressful, and you don't want to stress in this game because I was stressing a lot trying to fight that thing and I just could never beat him. Well, there's some guys that are hardcore hard and stuff. Do talk to this guy. This guy is actually going to be helpful later on. Unfortunately, I don't have the online version, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get to where I need to go to get to the blood letting. Because that's the best, I think, in this game for 98% of the game. All right, so we're going to drop down here. We do have a bow. So if you use your bow, you can shoot this guy. Bam. There should be another little guy somewhere. 
He's further back. I see him over there. Uh, you can see them. I don't know why it's not getting murdered, but it's fine. There we go. I oh, have my bow on me. Alright. There was another. Oh, there he is. He's hiding in the bushes there. I'm not going over there because I'm not going to taste that uh, guy on the horse. You don't want to mess with him right now, I promise. He is too overpowered right now. We're not leveled up yet even enough at all. Now, I will sh also sh uh, try to see if I can stream um, my regular game playthrough here because I am starting to do it that way now. It's a little difficult uh, again, but again, you have to level up and know which dungeons and places to go to fight in, in order, so somewhat in order, because this game is a little more have to go all the way to the end of as far as you can and if you want to try to fight the bigger bosses but it's definitely not worth it all right so here's where i was talking about when i first started talking to you this guy right here is very important we're going to come back to him later but for right now we're going to collect some things that we need so if you go to recommendation he'll tell you that you can um, get a crafting kit we got some runes runes is money by killing those guys that in that in that cave we were just in so what you want to get, first and for foremost, is this. This is very important. Get it right away. The second best thing to grab is usually the this this fire thing, but I, I don't say not to buy it right now. Um, probably won't need it for the run that I'm going to be doing. So get these. These are really important to get too. I only get one right now, but they're really important. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. And we'll come back to them later. Get out of that. Get the palms and stuff. Now, item crafting is very important. See, we can already craft all these things here. So this is for your horse. If he gets hurt, you can heal him up. All right, so we're going to go and we're actually going to kind of pass through much, most of these guys through here. Uh, what we're trying to do is get our torrent, our horse. So we've got to go this direction for it. Now, if you sneak behind this guy, Oh, nope, never mind. You can hit him with and you can die really rather quick and easily. And then this thing right here, you can roll on it to get the runes from it. Alright everyone, I apologize for that. Uh, I think my stream kind of took a crap on me, so... Um, yeah, let's go back to the game and see where we are going to be after this. So I don't know who that person was stream, talking to me on the stream, but sorry, guy. I don't like people trolling my, my page, so yeah. Uh, what's going on here? Why is this over here now? That's not where I want it. What the heck? What's going on here, man? Right, let me go back again. Uh, let's see. Right, back on the main TV. Uh, what the heck is going on here, my friend? Try this again. Oh, dang it. Alright, guys, so I'm probably gonna have to restart this game, this, uh, game right here. It's kind of messed up on me. Um, let me see what I can do. It's just, uh, it's messing up on me here. Alright, so I'm going to kind of close it out. And I'm going to start it back up. Now, it should bring me back to where I was. And SK Solik 9114, uh, sorry guy, uh, I don't respond to people like that. If you want to get me to pay for something, I'm not paying for nothing. I'm broke. I'm cheap and I don't want to do it so just so you know now, if you want to support my channel you can I would love to be a streamer I'm just streaming for pleasure right now and that's about it and I'm trying to teach people how to beat this game or barely survive is what I call it right now <laughs> I barely survived Elden Ring but I did beat it and it was a lot of heartbreak and aggravation for the majority of the game. 
just I'm not good just trying to I'm just being honest it was absolutely difficult but can it be done yes because somebody like me was able to beat it after trying to fight the the, uh, the end boss like I'm not gonna lie I probably fought him like a hundred times and uh, Melania which was supposed to be everybody was telling me was like the hardest she was pretty tough but I was about able to beat her in less than that maybe about 50 times maybe a little less than 50 I just changed my weapon um, I started off because on the PS4 I have uh, a way to play online and I was able to get a couple of bloodletting weapons from it. Alright, so where was I at? Okay, so here, this is a grace. Graces kind of show you where to travel on the map. As you can see, the little spark, this little line thing here, it actually kind of shows you where to travel and stuff. Now, you can get a map, which is going to be right here. I'm not going to get it right now, but it is right here. We're going to actually travel back over here in a minute. First, we've got to get our, our horse, or whatever it is. Donkey, horse, uh, goat thing. I don't know. It has all that. We're going to skip this because I don't really want to. If y'all want it, y'all can. When y'all play, y'all can watch this. I've seen this like a hundred times, so I don't really want to do it. It's going to let her talk to me. It's going to tell me about the Elden Ring, her being my. whatever you call it. She's going to give me her horse, Spectral Steed Whistle. That's very important. So make sure you get that. And we're going to kind of. We're gonna actually stand up and we're actually gonna travel back over here. And the reason why we're gonna come back here is because we're gonna go ahead and get our first spirits. Our spirits kind of help you throughout the game. And I am gonna be using spirits. That's the only way I was able to beat the game. Was the majority of the game was spirits. We get better spirits later on. Right, so she's calling me over here. This is Ella or I don't remember this woman's name. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnish. I am the witch. Oh, Rena. Yeah. You'll, you'll figure her out later on, but right now we're just going to get some stuff from her. We're going to get the uh, spirits and a bell to call the spirits. So this is what you call the spirits with. And this is your spirits that you're going to be using. I like those spirits. So in the beginning of the game, they're perfect for you to defeat most of the small bosses. So the way I like to set up my, my stuff here... That, or this is that. I like to put my my horse whistle there. I like to have my uh, FP or is it FP? Oh, or FP. magic, whatever it is called. I don't know right now. Then here, I like to have my spirits. So I keep my spirits there. And here is just my buffs or whatever I need to use to do stuff with. We're gonna get that there. So I'm pretty much set up. Talk to her one more time. She's gonna disappear after that. Alright, so now we're going to travel back over here. And the reason why my thing is so quick is because I'm on the PC, so it's able to upload my game rather quickly compared to the PS4. Yes, I did defeat the PS4 version of the game, so it was long. Alright, so the first thing you want to do here is you want to make it daytime. The reason why you want it daytime is because there are some bad guys that will wreck you up and murder you because you're not leveled up yet. But we're going to change that. But we are going to do that later. Um, now, I can show you all some tricks here. So these guys can't really see you. If you crouch down and sneak behind them, it will probably be the easiest, easiest way to kind of kill them, get rid of them. Now, you can jump up here and get this weapon. There's a weapon in this thing. It's, it's, an, it's an OK weapon. It's not the best, but it's an all right weapon. Alright, so we're gonna actually just avoid all these guys right now. We're just gonna go get some of uh, the map, which is important. And we're gonna hop over here, jump over. Oh, wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna roll out of this way. Oh, geez, some of the flippers trying to murder me. Alright, so we're gonna run this way. And we're gonna kind of come up in here. He doesn't try to stab me in the back. Now, a trick that I just learned is if you jump up on here, you open this and you move all the little visual stuff. So what I just grabbed was the uh, white stone knife. That's how you can do your Ashes of War, which your Ashes of War is how you, it's like an extra way of, um, of uh, hurting the bad guys a little easier. Okay, so you're gonna, you don't have to be here. 
Um, you do want to save at this grace just so you can come back over here later. We're, we're going to be coming back and forth a lot. So we're going to continue forward. There's a couple of items I'm gonna, I am gonna be collecting and things I'm gonna be doing. So, like I said, it's gonna take a couple hours. Even I'm doing, I'm doing this rather quickly. A lot of these things are important. Did you see that person say help me or whatever? This guy's right here, and he's actually the little tree right here. So you just kind of hit it. He shows up. Talk to him so he keeps repeating, so he starts repeating himself, and then you can move on. He's gonna show up later in another dungeon, which I'll probably do it on part two. Part one is more of just getting yourself buffed up. I might do a, one of the dungeons or something as you can see, but for the most part, you're just gonna do what I'm doing. And as you go through all this, just remember to pick up everything you can find. Just keep on pushing that button, the X button, or well, this one is A, because I'm playing with uh, the Xbox controller, which is the best to use for this, uh, for the uh, for this game on the PC. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna touch this grace because this grace is gonna be important later as well. So you want to go ahead and touch it. Now, what I like to do is because of this area here, I'm gonna actually put a little thing so I know when to come back over here later. All right, so we're gonna progress forward again. Now, I might die a few times going through here. Uh, some of these guys are a little tougher than. I'd like them to be. You can see I haven't. Uh... Now, if you touch a grace, if you're low on health or magic, if you go to the grace, you can actually um, re reset all your potions and stuff. So just remember that if you're low on potions and stuff, we're gonna actually hit this thing hard. I missed that. Thing. Horse quickly. Alright, there we go. Collect this thing if you can. Alright, and then run this way and kind of avoid that guy on the horse. Just want to come this way. Make sure to collect this thing right here as you run through. Actually, what we're going to do is go actually this way. We're going to get a golden, a golden pickle foot that we're going to actually be using later. So, this pickled, golden pickle foot is actually this direction here. Alright, we hop up. It's right behind one of these guys. You don't have to fight these guys unless you want to, but they're pretty tough right now because I'm um, ultra low leveled. We're gonna get some runes over here now that we're already close to this area. These runes are, again, they're just for you to, you know, heal up and to um, level up. I will be leveling up a little bit throughout the game, throughout this, uh, playing through this game so yeah all right so we're going through here going through here touching that going through here touching that and this one that should be all of them just check and make sure looks like I did get them all all right we're gonna drop back down all right so the next place you want to get to is over here now you can try to attack that thing right there, but you don't need to. You we already have um, our weapon doing the same type of uh, Ash of War already that comes with this weapon, so it's not necessary right now. But you do want to touch this grace, because we are going to be coming back to this grace probably a little bit sooner than all the other places. So touch it. If you don't know where it's at, just go ahead and put that little thing there. And we are going to go straight south. And we're going to go straight south. And we're going to collect a couple of uh, things that we'll need for later on. Don't worry about this guy. Now here is a little dangerous. Um, there's this thing that throws a fire bolt thing at you. So what I like to do is kind of run, because I'm a lefty, I like to run to the left. Just more pre Don't worry about these guys, just make sure that thing doesn't hit you, you know what I mean? The thing almost killed you. Alright, so you want to get out of Got it. Just keep on running. Get the stone wood key. And then there's a save grace right here. Just make sure to touch it. Alright. Continue forward. Now, 
I would talk to this girl, but uh, yeah, we can. No, nah, I don't want to talk to her right now. We'll do that later when we start fighting and stuff, and going through dungeons and fighting bad guys and all that stuff. Collect this. These mushrooms are really good for uh, collecting things or uh, to craft things that are important, like poison stuff. Because we're going to be using poisons and stuff to kill some of these bad guys as well. So that's a really good weapon, uh, middle weapon to use in the beginning. We're going to be getting better weapons later. But right now, we're going to be using these. Um, so I beat the game using the uh, the uh, Blood Rivers katana, which is amazing. I beat like 95% of the game with it, so it was amazing. But like I said, Radagon I could not do that with. I'm going to be applying that to my bow later. So, Ash of War, Mighty Shot. Alright, so here there's a few things we need to collect. Now, I don't have to collect everything in this uh, that I go past, so there's a few things that I can collect, some that I don't. And we're doing a lot of running, so that's why I'm not healing. I'm just kind of collecting right. things out as I go. Forget what's in here. You can level up your weapons here if you want. Uh, I don't really need that, but I do want to get a few of these, uh, about like 15 of these, and that should be good enough for right now. Let's get back on our horse. We're going to come up here. We're going to hop up here. We're going to actually just jump onto here. Yep, turtle, turtle shell there. We're going to get this little warming thing. Now, we don't have to do anything else over here right now, so we're just going to kind of hop down. Alright, we're going to continue forward. i got to be real careful over here. There's a couple of things we got to get right here on the road. One thing is this for the map fragment, because as you can see, it's dark right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all dark, so we're going to be able to see the rest of the map in just a second with this map fragment. So you got to be careful, just make sure you're kind of towards the right a little bit. There's a thing that's going to be shooting these giant arrows at you, so be really careful because they can one-shot you. And he's shooting it. He's shot like underneath this dude, which is pretty normal. Um, it's just kind of like a, I think it's like more like a warning shot almost. So I'm going to get my bow up because we're going to shoot something from far away. I mean, I've killed it from close up, but it's easier just to shoot it. And there's only one shot and it's dead, so yeah, the poison is we're actually gonna use that to cheese a, a, a big boss later and get a crap load of runes from him. It's a slow process, but it's actually the safest and the easiest to do. And it gets you into a part of the map that you would want to get into. I like to grab, grab a couple of things over here, like these. Oh, just be careful to be to the right, because to the left you'll they'll shoot you with that big arrow thing again. Just be careful. See it fly across you? Yeah, be really careful with that. So keep running. That guy's still eyeing, it, eyeing you. But if you come down this way, there's a couple of uh, things we can do to, to make our weapons stronger. So make sure to get that, which is a sombering stone too. And kind of avoid those things because it will shoot poisonous stuff at you. And this guy here will murder you. So kind of edge to the right. Until you see that thing, about murder me, he just kind of clipped me a little bit. I mean, I could kill him right now, but I don't want to because I just want to get over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yep, there we go. And that's how you can get through there without touching anything. Alright, so I'm just touching this grace right now. Now that I touched the grace, I'm actually going to backtrack. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But it resets the bad guy back there. Oh. We have to do the flask. That's fine. I'll get it later. All right, so now we're going to fast travel back over here. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of running, and that's normal. That's, that's just the way it's, the game is. You've got to learn how to play this game a little bit better than I did, because I was struggling, man. I'm telling you, I was struggling, but this will help you guys a lot if y'all do what I'm doing. It just makes it a lot easier. I promise. All right, so we're going to go kind of west here, west, uh, southwest. What we're going to get is some magic stuff and some 
other items that we're going to be collecting. I always get the red, uh, not these red things, but there's some like red leaf stuff. I think that's for to help with the poison stuff. Make sure to get that. Yellow ember. And of course, you're just going to kind of keep going up, up, up. See that plant there? That's why I like to grab the eye of yellow. Those are uh, important for the poison thing that we're going to be using to... If, and you poison yourself and you get stronger, is what I think about. I didn't know that at first, but that's what happened. I learned that after the fact. After I beat Elden Ring, <laughs> I'll figure that out. Just playing through. Alright, so we're gonna go this way, we're gonna get some more of these. Be careful with these guys, they will try to one-shot you. And they can one-shot you. Believe me. Alright, gonna get like that. Oh jeez, get off me, get off me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, collect that thing is very important. Okay, now we're getting back out. The sacred tears are important for the amount of health or potions we or uh, FP that we get. Right, out for the rats. We can come back later and kill all these things if you want after we're strong enough to kill them. Now I can't tell you that we're gonna be ultra powered and we can blast through everyone, but it'll will make this a thousand percent easier. I promise. Alright, so now we're gonna kinda go to the north. North uh, west. Avoid these dogs to the left. You don't want to get them riled up. Um, there's a big bow thing you can get up there, but I've never really used it. It's huge and it requires a lot of strength and it's not really worth it, honestly. Just get this brace here. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, level up some stuff here. Like, all right, so the golden seed, you can go ahead and level up that golden seed. You can do the flasks. It replenishes your, more of your stuff. And here, if you want to put two of those, you can. I try to keep it at five right now because we're going to get a lot more seeds later. Alright, so. There we go. We're going to come this way. And we're going to come here. Now, you can grind this guy here and get a, a knife from him. That's pretty powerful. Just keep. Uh, just make, there's some silver foul feet you can use to. Uh, make the discovery a lot easier and but that will be later if you want to try that I'll I'll probably show you all that later on um, so we're gonna just continue this way there's some guy that falls and dies over here I don't know why he dies but he does and I collect see I got I don't know who it is or why he dies but it's always like that like I said there's some guys here you can kill if you want I'm not gonna do that for the fact that it's just not necessary right now. There's another grace here, so go ahead and touch the grace. And then touch the, grab this thing here. Now, you could grind this guy here. There's this guy back here. Where is he? He has the knives on him. Uh, that guy right there, you can grind him for his weapons. I did that, I got two of them, and they're not really that good, honestly. I, I'm actually playing on my PS4 with it, and it's it sucks, bro. That shield is okay, it's not like, it's more for magic, I think, or something. I don't really use shields in this game. I don't know how to parry. I've parried like once, but I've actually ground, grinded, the, I ground this, I was grinding this game. Uh, Beating it with just beating the crap out of him without that. I mean, yeah, I died thousands of times, but it is, it is, it, it, if you learn how to parry, then it might be, make it a lot easier later. I don't know, though. And then we're going to collect some of these on here. Don't worry about the rats right now. You can come back and kill them later. And then we can come up in here. And what I'm doing is I'm collecting all these little, uh, these little, uh, what do you call these things? These uh, sacred tears are very important, so make sure you collect them. Touch the race. Oh. Got one more grace to touch over here, and the reason why I'm touching this grace is because later on I'm going to be grinding for getting 
uh, golden foul feet and silver foul feet because those are important. Silver, like again, I said before, silver foul feet are for um, for a discovery, discovering items. Like if you kill people, bad guys and stuff, they sometimes will drop more better things. And also the golden foul feet is to produce uh, more runes when you fight them or kill them after you kill them. You, you have to activate it first and then you kill them. Now I could purchase, this is $1,800 because I did grab a few runes, so I, I might just do that right now so I can show you all. So the runes that I've collected are right here. You can see how much there are. See that I can use that one, so I like to do this and then... Uh, maybe you don't have it downloaded on your account? Just on my account? Uh, 0209. Square don't up. Say on oh, well, you, you were asking. Well, nobody can see it anyway. Who can upgrade? Who, nobody can get on there, you weirdo. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this. And get a few more arrows. It's not bad. too bad to get a few more arrows. Alright, so now that I did what I did, next thing I need to do is we're gonna go up now. So. Where we were at to earlier, we're going to actually go up, so we're going to come back all the way up here. Alright, and we're going to get on our horse. Now, I could die through here, so just be really careful, because this is a very... Because a big troll is gonna land on you, so what I like to do is after I cut this, is go right to the right. Uh, I like to get the rings if I can. There we go, got them, then just start running. Do not, oh jeez, I can't even get out. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, okay. Be careful with your horse, because even though you're not getting hurt, the horse is, and it can get killed or knocked off, and then you can have to shoot it. Alright, so I am going to show you all something. There is another type of spirit you can get here. But let me get the golden seed first. So, and this way I can also avoid the, uh, the, uh, big bosses there. Alright, so we're going to come this way. There's this little area here you can climb up. And of course, uh, again, you know, you got to be really careful here because these guys are pretty tough. And they're, they're just jellyfish, but they're pretty tough jellyfish. And there's, some, there's also a smithing stone you can get over here, so I'll just go over here. Usually I wouldn't go to over here, but since it's a smithing stone for leveling up weapons, go ahead and level it up. Alright, so now we got it over there. We're gonna get the jeez. Okay, now we're gonna kind of go up east, or southeast. So we're gonna kind of go up a little bit. We kind of want to hug that left side a little bit on this big uh, building thing. See those red uh, jellyfish? Those are the tough ones and they'll activate the other ones, so just be really careful. Like this. You can just run, bro. You're gonna get smacked. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 Don't get splat. Oh, no, no. Just jump if you can. Alright, we got it. Oh, wow. I can't believe I just, I didn't even get hit once. That's good. Okay. Uh, it takes a few tries, but you should be able to get through there. Alright, so I'm gonna go back this direction. I'm gonna go through here. Right. Yeah, whatever guy in there that is, I don't care. Alright guys, so my stream is having some issues, but that's fine. Y'all can hear me, that's I guess that's okay. Uh we're gonna come this direction here. Touch this grace here. And we're just gonna continue forward. And oh, geez, what the? Oh, the wolves. Oh, what? Okay. All right, wolf. Here. Oh, All right, wolf. Go ahead and touch that grace. All right, guys. Uh, let me stop here for a second, and I am going to restart my stream to see if I can get this up again and working. I hate when my stream does this, but I mean, look. Um, yeah, let me 
stop this for a second and then start it back up there we go all right go back to the game are oh, you gonna play some other oh sweet all right there we are sorry about that guys my my video is not working very well right now my streaming is absolutely awful and i think it's the the uh because of all the rain clouds and stuff that and also that's more than likely what the issue is here. It was my so I guess I'll just continue. Forget it. Alright, so we're gonna continue forward. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna grab this other stone stone key. You gotta do this. It's retrieving the calibration right now. And talk to this lady until her, to her, her uh, talking stops. Uh, she starts repeating herself. When she's done repeating herself, you got the jellyfish, which is an okay summon in the beginning of the game. Alright, so. I've wow. Uh, try the last of great, yeah, last grace. All right, so now that I, where we're gonna go next is kind of this direction here. We're gonna get a strength tier, which we're gonna be able to add on later. So just gonna kind of run through here. Make sure to collect that glowing skull. Run it over with the horse and pick up the rune. Two hand your weapon. Okay. Don't so we're gonna use this later. Uh, you, uh, R1 behind him. No, you gotta focus on him first. Behind. Yeah, but you gotta focus on him first. You're doing what that guy did, <laughs> was doing. Uh, what's gonna come back for that? There, got it. Alright. That was just luck, man. That was just luck. Alright, we're gonna kinda jump over here. And we're gonna touch this grace as quickly as possible. I don't wanna get murdered. I got my running after me. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I forgot to do the flash. I can do the flash later. It's not that big of a thing right now, anyways. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get two items from here we're gonna be using later. So, finish talking to him. Now you could kill him, but then you're gonna lose out on a lot of stuff. So we need 800 for that, and 600 for that. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 1400. And I do have runes, so I can always do the runes. Circle. Uh, here we are. So 400. Uh, let's use all of those. Good enough, maybe. And the reason we're going to be using this later is because it's going to be better for us later. So now we got that. The game looks so much better than mine does on this TV. <laughs> Are right, we going to go this way? Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. Now you got to be really careful here. These guys are over really overpowered. You want to get the attention of this guy here. There we go. And we're going to hide over here. And he sees me. And we're going to knock this uh, thing over. That's what we're going to do. There you go. And we're going to turn back around. We're going to kind of try to get these runes quickly without him killing me. Okay, we got it. Okay, now we run. Run like the wind. And also do it like at a, at a curve. Because if not, they're going to blow their pot of breath at you and kill you. See what that guy just tried to do? And they can still hit you from here. See what I mean? Killed my horse. All right, so let's just keep running. Just keep running, keep running. Touch the brakes. He's just trying to hit me again with his bad breath. Okay. At least he didn't kill me. Okay. Touch the grace. It actually helps us uh, continue. Now let's do these flasks. These will replenish more of the of the health and the magic. All right. So the next part we're gonna go is actually to get one of our first buff things in the game. So the way we do that is we're going to come kind of this direction. You'll see where it starts to climb up from there. So it's kind of go up right there. That's where we're going to go. Now this guy's tough. I've died plenty of times trying to get, get him. 
and it's gonna take a few tries. Hopefully I only have to do it the one time, but you know, this guy's pretty tough, especially in the beginning, so we gotta kinda I always try to jump off my horse and hit him with R2. Like that, and like that. Like that. And like that. And like that. And he's dead. Just like that. And oh and I got some gauntlets from him. The gauntlets actually are really good, so maybe check. Yeah, see how much better that is? Alright, get those gauntlets on me. Alright. He's pretty tough though. You might you might die before. But it doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go. Like this guy says. Let's go. Ah, there we are. There you are, my beautiful. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Huh? Good. Alright, now we're gonna go over here. There should be uh, a um, flail suck. Oh, that flail sucks. There's a, bit, a bigger one you can get from that black horse on the south part of the of the uh, of the of the land between. All right, so we got this lance. We're also gonna go ahead and get a better um, a better uh, shield. Yep, he's dead, just like that. And he drops something. Always collect everything you drop. You can always sell it or give it away or whatever you want to do. Now this is going to be a little tough, I'm not going to lie. I've died a few times over here getting this stuff, but the shield is this little box thing that you see right here, a little chest. So the way I usually do this is I stand up here and I run to the box and I open it up quickly and then I run, flip, and I get on my horse. And then I run this way and I'm going to get this uh, meat over here because it actually gives you more strength if you eat it before you go to a big fight. I'm gonna hop over here, and we're gonna run. We're actually gonna run, kind of hug the right side this time. And as we hug this right side, we're gonna go up this uh, thing here, and we're gonna actually talk to this guy here. You now, me? you could kill him right away and get like a, oops, sorry guy. And talk to him first before you do this. And he's gonna ask you to push him out. And so what I do is I'm just gonna go one more should do the trick. There you go. Just talk to him, he's gonna give you another uh, meat thing. Let's go ahead and get it from him. And he'll tell you he's gonna go to Caleb to do some kind of fight thing. Don't worry about that right now, but it is important for later. So go ahead and get this done. Alright, so now we're gonna go this direction and we're actually gonna get another uh why would my flask be used? The what? I, I can't use my flask. You gotta change, like mine, my flask is when I hold that button, is on the left. Oh, the right. Yeah, you gotta go into your menu, like this. And you gotta either, like I put mine there, but you could put it, you could put it here. Dude, that, that's where I have, well, or wherever you were. Equipment, where equipment. equipment. Oh. But yeah, it's not there, it's, go down. I'll go over to the to the right, right there. Click on that. Hit the blue thing. Nope, wrong one. You just messed it up. Okay, there you go. Now go to a circle. Go back. Put the red one. There. Now you got it. If that's easier for you, that's the way you do it. How do I use it? You just hold the button and you press the right. That's how I use it. No, not. No, no, no. You're you're not doing it right. How do you? Square. Square. Thank you. Square. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. Sorry, I didn't know what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about something else. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Now, now where the heck am I? I forgot where I was. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna kind of go over here to this. Um, okay, there we go. We're not gonna actually fight. I mean, you could, and I can probably wreck this guy, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna just uh, touch this grace real quick, so I can come back to it, fast travel to it later. I'm actually gonna go get myself another katana. And the way to do that is you want to let's go ahead and get this. This root resin is good for our weapons, uh, to upgrade our weapons. It's gonna be the skeleton here, just avoid them. A lot of this game you can just run around this whole place and not have to worry about anything. Run this way, I'm gonna run this direction here. And the weapon is right here. 
for the picker. Just come back down and run back up and make sure nothing tries to stop you. And just run back up. You can always come back later and fight these guys later. I mean, they're pretty easy, but I'm trying to show y'all how to, uh, to get strong early so that y'all can be beasts later on. Alright, so we're going to come back this direction here. Alright, let's go ahead and mount the horse. And now, we can put this other katana on us. Now we can dual wield katanas. And this is really good in the beginning of the game. It will help you kill these bosses. And since they're both bleed, uh, they'll make the bleed, the bad guys bleed a lot more and easier. Touch this grace so that you can always come back to it later. Not your horse again. Avoid this big uh, monkey guy. You don't want him to try to murder you right now. So you level up a lot. Okay, this direction here. Yeah, that guy's tough. You gotta kill all the little guys. They call your wolves on him and... I don't have any of that yet. Alright, uh, then what you need to do is fast travel back to where uh, Kale is. is. That guy? And he... So, no, no, fast travel. Fast travel. Are oh, you gonna get your runes? Okay, I'm sorry, my guy. I'm sorry, my guy. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to my stream in my game, so I'm not paying it. I'm trying to help you without... I know I'm not a good helper, but I'm trying to help you so you can survive. Alright. Whatever, I'm not a... I'm a, I'm a survivor. That's what I am. I'm not a, a good player, I'm just a survivor. And because... Yeah. So we're gonna go. Actually, there's a bad guy we can kill that's really easy, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go back this way. Yeah, I need to upgrade my stats. I haven't done that yet. How much runes do you have? Alright, so we're gonna come this way. Oh, don't forget these. These are really good to have, too. Alright, so. We're gonna kind of hop down over here. We might get hurt a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. This tree okay. usually catches me. So See, I still got hurt. Bow. What does the bow? I, uh, you gotta look at your bow, and it'll show you there what you need to upgrade. So look at your bow stats. Go to your bow. So strength and dexterity. So mostly dexterity and some strength. That's the way they. Yeah, mostly dexterity. Though. Strength is not what is dexterity? dexterity is the kind of like weapons like the bow or these katanas are dexterity are the faster weapons the things you use the lightest weapons that do the most damage uh, in a sense all right so we're gonna kind of go kind of northwest or northeast it's here to level up once. yep and it gets it gets more and you have to use more and more every time it's all right, the more you kill, the stronger you get. All right, so we're gonna come this way. We're gonna get this here, this here, and this here. Just go ahead and collect all these. I'm gonna say this and this and this. And just, just collect all these. All these beautiful little silver tears that you see here. Get this. this is important because this Fever's book, if you look in here, Fever's book is very important. Fever's book, it, it makes you get sleep pots. And we're going to need sleep pots for the uh, skin duos and skin monsters, the skin bad guys. <laughs> well, they wear the skin of the bag of the guys they kill. Is anybody there? You could talk to this guy if you want, but he's not really that important right now. You can talk to him later. And that's what I'm going to do is talk to him later, because he's not really that big of a deal. You can kill him later if you want to. He's not that important, I don't think. He hasn't really produced anything good for her in my game play through this game. Now, if you want, I, I, I didn't download my Yaku Watch this game. Yes. Alright, so now we're going to kind of go east a little bit. And we're going to collect some things on the way there. We're going to hook up our tiers. So we can get that stuff stacked up. 
Avoid all these guys. You can go you can, after you get strong, you can come back and just wreck these guys. No issues. So just make sure you continue forward here. And for you guys that are playing or watching me on Twitch, I'm sorry that my Twitch is messed up, but you can watch it on my YouTube. So um, if y'all want to watch it on my YouTube, you're more than welcome to. All right. So the first thing I want to do here is come to the left here, collect this tier, sacred tier. This is important. This is how we're going to do our wondrous physics. And that's some very important. Alright, so let's go ahead and hook up our wondrous physics. We can change it later. But we'll go ahead and put that on right now so that we can use it for the... We are going to be fighting a big boss guy. Or mini boss, I guess we can call him. It's going to be pretty tough. Okay, so we're going to go here. Yeah, I've, I've played a little bit of it, but it, it's aggravating to me, so it's just aggravating. Alright, so we're gonna use. Okay, so yeah, I'll leave that later. Put that on that. I'll put that. Oh, wait, I got my other weapon I can hook up. Let's take rid of that. And let's go ahead and put the stronger. This, this, this shield here is really nice. Now, if you grind the. Um, grind the bad guys in that. Um, where we saw the horse, you can grind for the for the shield. That shield is probably the most OP shield in the game. So, or me medium shield in the game. I like it because you, you know you keep your health or your because you also if you get too heavy, it's hard to, to roll out of attacks and stuff in this game. Because it's a from software game, it uh, rolls and stuff are very important, and you can get murdered easily. So very, you're already done? You didn't even try? Yeah. Wow, bro. Wow. You didn't even get your spirits or anything. I really like, uh, the only RPG in, like, the only that I like is, uh, Constitution. Just avoid that there. Not that big of a deal right now. Alright, we're gonna get this, and then we're gonna get this. Oh, I didn't get it, but it's okay. You don't want to be too long over there, because that bear will just murder you. He is way too strong right now. He's like overly powered. Alright, got those tears. We're going to hook them up. Now what we're going to do over here... Oh, we can go ahead and kill this thing. Run. Come over here. It's not a very good thing, but whatever. Alright, let's kill this. Okay, so here, you got to be really careful. There's a big bear here that's sleeping. You do not want to wake this thing up. If even stronger than the other big bear that was there. So you want, want to just kind of sneak leak over here. Okay, so that's where he's at. So I'm going to actually run this direction. Come out through here. Now if you follow me step by step, you shouldn't have too much issues. We're going to meet, be meeting this. Let's see if you see him from up here. See this guy up here? We're going to actually use him to get um, some other stuff later. So to get him, uh, we're gonna meet him so he can help us beat this guy and get us another really strong uh, weapon. It's called the something Fang, and it's like super overpowered. I mean, you can't. I, I couldn't beat the the main game with it, but it, for the majority of the beginning of the game, is really good to have. All right, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna walk in here quietly. If you if you do what I'm doing here, it won't wake up the bear. At all. So I get to get that smithing stone for the weapons that are not, are not like the big weapons. So there's different sombering stones for different weapons. I don't even know what I'm oh, 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 I don't know where the heck I was going over there for. Okay, that was almost a mistake. Alright, so almost got murdered there. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was looking for right here. Actually, I'm going to go next to the bear, but I'm going to sneak in front of him so that he doesn't see me or she. I don't know if it's a he or she or it. I don't know. Alright, so you want to kind of sneak and then you want to kind of crouch. Still crouch and run behind him here. Um, so what I'm saying is we jump on here and then open it and just get rid of the whole animation. So this is going to enhance our charge attack, so it'll make us a little stronger when we charge. 
That's basically this. When I do this and she, that's a charged attack. So yeah, it'll make that stronger automatically as soon as you put it on your on your stuff. All right, so we're gonna come back over here quietly without waking the bear. We're gonna hop up and crouch. And the next location we're gonna head on to now is going to be right over here. This is where we're heading to next. All right, so once I think I'm far enough away. Start running this direction. Just be careful of these because the, even the board will try to murder you. So just be careful with them. They are pretty hardcore OP. I'm oh, not not the bears. I'm sorry. Oh, the boars. I'm sorry. But the bears are very OP. So don't mess with them right now. A lot of these guys in this game are very OP for a beginner that doesn't know what the heck they're doing. I didn't know what I was doing when I played Elden Ring. Elden Ring was the first from software game I've ever played. So. So here I like to do during the day because I think I'm at night right now, but I want to move on to the day. Morning is better. Got a drink here. All right. So again, this is gonna be tough. Um, I do die. Sometimes I do die the first time I try to go through here. Uh, sometimes I can do it the first time, it just depends really on how good I am, I am at avoiding these attacks from this guy. But, uh, don't forget to get the blood uh, roses and the golden seed. Again, the golden seeds are how Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, we got it. Alright, so what I did there is I avoided the, uh, just be careful. Everything's running around me right now. There's no good guys here except for the, the wolves that you have. Do you want to go over here? There's a guy that's following me now. I couldn't even see that that ladder at first. I was like, oh no. There he goes. Come on, climb up, buddy. There we go. So he's climbing up good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my, my wolves. And they're going to distract him while... I uh, murder him. So here we are. And now, wolves. This guy's gonna see him right there. He's already coming. Oh, well, he's gonna try to murder me already. There he is. While he's stuck in there, I am gonna kind of murder him and so back up, back up. He will try to murder me. Can stay here, that's fine. Uh, wolves, get out of my way, bro. And then I'm gonna descend. And then my blood roses over here that I want to grab. The wolves will kind of disappear and reappear down here with me. One of my wolves are almost dead already. And I like to get the right now. Get out of the way and run over here this way. There's another uh, smithing stone over here that I want to get. And I want to get one more thing out of here, which is a book. And the book is important because that book is going to help me make some more blood letting stuff. So, oh, 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 oh bro, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to die of this. Dang it. Sorry. Now that the big guy's gone and dead, I can come back to like. So I did die, but that's fine because I killed the main mini boss here. Everybody's gone and dead now, so I can just collect some more blood roses and collect my. See, the first time I die. And if you've ever played this game and you're playing for the first time, you're probably gonna die a lot. Just letting you know, I'm probably gonna die a lot um, through this uh, building, uh, fast building, or you know, strength building. So collect these blood roses. And you could also do your horse like this and get further into there. I learned that from one of the guys I was watching. Get these blood roses and these blood roses. I'll show you all in a second. Let me just collect my stuff. 
the reason why everybody's there because everybody's gone. They're all gone. Got my runes back. All right, so item crafting. Now I can create blood grease because what I did is I got a little book that was underneath there. Was one of these. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. So this little book was actually back there. That's what I collected. Oh yeah, I couldn't get on the horse. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do next after I clear this place out is we're gonna go to the west-ish area here. So uh, another smithing stone I need to grab over here, and then some more runes. Uh, I'm gonna rob some more room, uh, some more grave sites for rooms. Like I said, I don't have to collect everything, but it's, that crafting kit is gonna make a heck of a difference. Uh, it's gonna make this, uh, it's, it's just gonna make it a lot easier. I could fight this thing. It's not too difficult to defeat him, so I can fight him if I want to. I'll show y'all how to wreck him. Golden like that. If you hit R1, stab that. I was doing the. Um, yeah, it's hurt again. Do it again. Guys, you gotta be real, really careful. These guys can be pretty tough, so you want to kind of get through these guys right here. And just quickly, just collect all of these if you can. It's gonna be a lot of them. Collect all the ones you can. Avoid these guys as much as possible. It can be pretty, especially the white wolf right now. It'll be pretty tough to try to fight. And yeah, there's a lot of wolves over there. So I got them all. So now I'm actually gonna head. I already went something. Alright, so I got pretty much everything here that I need to get, so the next thing I need to do is come this direction and hit this grace here. Now this grace is pretty awesome. This grace here is going to make us go to a different part of the of of the of the map completely. That we haven't even, that uh, is a little more OP than here, believe it or not. And it's very scary, but because we're, all we're doing is just collecting things to make us stronger. We're gonna, and we're actually gonna upgrade ourselves there too. We're gonna make ourselves stronger. So that's a good thing about that. So we're gonna go down this little thing. It's hidden behind back here. I'll show you where it's at. It's right back there. I should have slowed down and showed y'all where it's at. It's kind of like we saw with that window I went through. I just gotta go to the right a little bit and back into this little alcove area. I'll show y'all where it's at over here. See, we're in a different part of the map. Okay, so I was here, and the thing is like right here, right in this little alcove area, right here. So if you, if you, I jumped out of the window here, and I went up here, and I went down there, and it's right there. And it shot me all the way up to here. Right, first thing you want to do is go in here, and get this grace. So it's actually a grace. I didn't even know that for the longest time. This grace over here. And D, we're going to talk about him later, so don't worry about him right now. I'm not going to worry about him. And then we're going to come over here. And you know what I do want to do? I do want to get another, uh, another one of these things for later when I get another. When you kill the first big boss of the game, the main big boss, you get another pouch where you can put another one of those things on. The talismans, that's what they are, talismans. These talismans are very good, they're very popular, they're, they're very good to have. So you want to drop down right here. This is a little secret area that I, that I, um, that I learned from watching my, one of my streamers that I was following. Believe me, I was sucking so bad. I've never played any from software games and I was like so angry and stuff. That's why I didn't play online anymore at uh, Elden Ring because I was just so mad. So let me try this game. 
offline because I don't know how many times I'm gonna die and get killed and stuff. I died a lot. Uh, that's all I gotta say. I've died a ton playing Elder Green. Yeah, you're gonna get hurt a little bit here. It's not that big of a deal. Just make sure you, you, you kind of know where you're dropping yourself off at. Kind of right there. avoid that guy. Drop that guy here. Here's a little, here's a little more sketchy, but if you just drop right there, it should be fine. Now here, if you drop off, I'm gonna kind of jump up there like that, and then I could just drop down easily. Okay, so I'm to where I need to go. Now I just need to run over here, get over here, like this. This is not what I came for, but it's a weapon, and I want to get it. Now there's this bat here. I could, I guess I can kill the bat. Kill this because um, I can now just fast travel up. If there's a monster watching you and stuff, that's what I came for. This dragon shield thing is really good. It boosts physical damage negation, so it negates a lot of the damage that I'll be getting. So I don't need that right now, but I will need it later. So let's go ahead, fast travel, oh, fast travel back to where I was at. All right, my guys, we're getting this done. back on your horse because this guy will murder you with one breath. So you want to avoid this guy. Don't even mess with him. Just keep going straight. Do not look back. Make sure to collect this uh, golden seed from this golden tree. Avoid these guys. They're pretty OP too. Make sure you collect that golden seed. It's very important. Avoid these guys. They're kind of hidden, but if you look really close, you can see them. Do not attempt to kill, to fight them. Not, nobody in here is easy. Huh? Why? Okay. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go back up. Alright. We're gonna go and go to the east. Alright, son, love you. Sorry. to the right as you come down here and hop a lot because there's poison things over here so you've got to be really careful with the poisons over here. There's another big uh, black horse guy which I could cheese just to get more runes and I might just do that to show y'all but I die a lot trying to do that so I'm trying not to. Alright so let's go down here click this grace. So I'm not going to fight it right now though. I don't want to trying to show you how to get strong. I mean, you could get strong to get more runes, but it's just too difficult right now. now you could collect uh, um, a magic stone from up there, but I'm not doing that right now. I'll do it on my pleasure play, or maybe later on when I'm uh, just playing normally. For right now, I'm just trying to get y'all to play, enjoy this game more than I did whenever I first started playing. I was getting so aggravated, and I was like, what do I do? Why do I get kid murdered? And that's why, because we're under-leveled, and this game has mechanics that you have to do, because if you don't, you will die constantly and over and over again, to the point where you just want to murder everything around you, in front of you, and avoid those uh, lightning bolts. They should kind of show you where they're going to uh, land on you. There's a big tree here. Don't mess with it. It's super powered and then there's all this uh, rotten ground stuff here that you don't want to get put into. Now this thing is just the, for the first two maps. The strength is only for the first two maps, that's it. After that you just have to grind you know, normally, but this will actually give you an idea of what to do early so that you can start learning how to fight these guys and stuff. I would usually recommend to play solo without your spirit, but man, honestly, I can't do it. I suck at it. Alright, so now, I am going to do something. Um, first thing I need to do, though, is go ahead and get this on me. I'll show you why in a minute. 
let's go ahead and use all the runes I can to level up a little bit. This is just, oh, I think I forgot about the round table hold. Round table hold is right here. So just go ahead and do it. It's just just a little bit of a bypass, but go ahead and do it. It's necessary for later. So just touch, touch your hand. I do like playing this on the PC though because the, the loading is so much faster. It's like like snap. PS4 sucks, bro. PS4 is so flip and slow, it's ridiculous. Alright. Round table hold. So the main guy of the round table hold. Where the heck is he? Is that guy. Oh there he is. Because it just took a little bit oh, of this is a rare account. He's gonna talk well. to you about stuff. You can talk to him if you want. Not that important. There is D. We'll see him um, in a little well, bit. This the owner of the way. She's my servant. Take your eyes if you find her. Don't have to. Though I'd like I'm to talk to you guys here. All the more. I'm I'm just welcome to chat. teach and explore right. so that one day. Actually, I can up. Oh Those no, I don't want to upgrade. Right. Death right. Actually, I want to see if I can upgrade some of these weapons. I don't think I. I might have enough. I don't know. We'll see. You'll have to have Oh yeah, I can upgrade my weapons. So let's go ahead and upgrade. You've noted nothing special. I'm trapped by the whole mess. All there is to it. All right. Uh, I just like to talk to him about that. Well, no great. My big side, despite my desire to. Right. So now, what I would want to do here first. How much money do I have? 695, okay. Sorry I'm looking over at I got my laptop right there. That's where my screen is at is on the, the laptop. Alright. So let's go ahead and purchase. Oh, I don't have any I got any. The heck was that? I don't know what that was. Oh, it was my phone. I was like, what the heck? It's my stream. Try to show up again. There we go, guys. I'm back on now. Sweet. I'm back. My stream is back, guys. So if y'all want to watch me on Twitch, my stream is back. All right, so 3,000 rooms is too much. I need, what, 600? I'll use one of these 800 ones. These ladies are going to be very important for us later. I'll call them the ladies, the twins. All right, so yeah, we need to get this for now. Alright, so what that does is that with the things we're going to be using is going to be very helpful. Talk to this guy, he'll give you like a standing thing. You actually can take his gear later. There we go. What do you want? I don't want much. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to actually um, put the blood build. Sorry guys, sorry. I'll uh oh blast. Oh, oh yeah, so see so I got this stuff here. I'll level that up later. Um I'll show you what to do there. Uh let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna move that there. So now I have two charges for magic for, for you know now the Ash of War. I am gonna mount this Ash of War here with this blood letting it will see how my blood loss went up a little bit that's why it's so important to do that all right so 
memorize spells. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that on because I will be doing that as a run probably. And then this is a magic. You have to have 16 faith to use. I will have to get that later, but I don't need that right now. Under physic, I'm gonna actually trade that for this. And we're gonna go back to where we were. Because we're gonna go ahead and get another very powerful um, thing that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, another powerful, uh, uh, I forgot the name now. I'll, hopefully I'll remember later, who knows? My brain, you know, sometimes it's just weird the way it works. So, oh, I forgot to see how much, how much, uh, how much money I have. Uh, I got 695 runes. Even though that looks like a lot, it's really not that much. I actually I could upgrade, my, or upgrade myself once. Uh, I need to upgrade. Uh, yeah, 200 runes I can get there. I should be able to uh, upgrade myself a little bit. So, what do I want to upgrade with this one upgrade? Well, right now, I think the strength is going to be upgrade a little bit. To use the big weapon that I'm going to be using later, I do need that. Alright, so now I'm going to put this light on. And I am going to try to get something very important here. I forget what it's called right now. Talisman. Okay, so this is a very big talisman, especially, especially for early in the game. So this, I might die a couple times trying to get to it. It's very hard to get through here with this uh, just once. I mean, I've done it before a couple times, but honestly, it's one of the tough things to do. Keeping an eye on your health. I might be able to do something with poison, but I don't know. Like I said, I, you might die a few times trying to get through there. This uh, this rat thing, you're gonna, especially if you got poison on yourself, you're gonna get wrecked, bro. That's just the issue that I have with that. So I mean, you just gotta deal with it. Now, if I lose these runes here, it's not that big of a deal. It's only 600. I know that's a lot. Or actually, I don't even have. I don't even think I had that much did I? Because I used the runes. That's right. I used most of the runes, so I didn't have that much anyway. So if I lose them now, it's not that big of a deal. Let's try this again. I'm gonna run this direction. Make sure not to get blasted with poison. Now, if you get a little bit of poison on yourself, that's fine. But if you get completely hit with poison, once it hits you completely with poison, oh geez, so close. It almost got me poisoned again. It makes a big deal. So we're gonna go, and if you follow the direction I'm going, you're gonna be able to get to here. But I'm telling you, you got to be really quick through here. Like there's this blue guy that will show up right here and follow you. So you gotta run through here really quickly. He'll still show up, but hopefully by the time he shows up, he'll be dead already. Oh, I made it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so now I'm gonna let these wolves do their talking. Ah! I died anyways. So it's not worth it. My 
sometimes, like I said, sometimes I can do it the first time, sometimes it takes a few tries. And that's why you have to, it's best to just use up all your runes before you go in there, because more than likely you're going to die. But it's wor really worth it if you can get the talisman, um, the talisman quickly. The talisman will make you so much, it make life so much easier in the beginning of the game. if they didn't do it twice. That's really good. Now you could do the bloody slash on the bad guy. To do the bloody slash you just do L2 and that's the mat that's the, the hard hitting um, animation. That's how that's all of your weapons that's the main hit. The, the one that does the magic hit or whatever you call it. Okay so I'm gonna kinda let this rat boots jump attack at me. I'm gonna actually get my wolves a little bit further back because I don't want them to kill it. Yeah, y'all go over there. I'm gonna go around y'all. I'm gonna go over oh, yeah. there. I'm gonna be here. Grab this. I'm gonna back up the wolves. My wolves are gonna get murdered by these rats. These rats are, like I said, they're very OP. They're very strong. And one wolf left, so I'm gonna kind of run it. Let's jump around and run this way and just run all I gotta do is run now I'll just jump over here and touch the grace all I gotta do is touch this grace and it should be yes okay there we go third time to charm I guess all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that to this and as you can see the vigor the uh Leo shows you the vigor, the strength, the endurance, the dexterity, all goes up. Your health goes up, your stamina goes up, your equipment load is a little bit less, and your um, medium load instead of like a heavy load. So, I mean, it's very good to have. So we're going to kill that thing right there. Now, to do that, to do will these katanas is really good but what's very important is right before it dies i'll sh tell you i'll show you all when you have to pop this golden foul foot to get most of the runes you're going to be getting so the way to do that this 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 uh dragon is like easy easy hit easy kill um i mean this joker is going to get wrecked now usually you can kind of grind it and kill it this playthrough just because it's just takes too long but because my weapon is already blood a blood weapon um, it will actually start to die rather quickly and if you look at the top left every time I hit this if you have 13,000 already what you're doing is you're producing the blood build every time it hits it gets hit with that blood build it chunks each chunk of the stuff it's hitting it the reason why I'm using the two katanas is because you get double blood build on it. So just keep on. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. I do it here because this is probably the easiest location to do it. And there's like five dragons that are also gonna die from this dragon dead. They already killed more of its health out.
this the first time. Top left, I want to click with the up, the up uh, arrow. Just telling you that right now you're going to get a lot more work than you usually do. If you this the first time, you'll get about 60,000 rooms. So put that golden power foot on there and try to get about 100, a little bit more. Now, if you, if you have the, doll, the golden scarab, Almost a hundred thousand runes. Yep. Alright, so where do you want to spend the runes? Well, I'm going to be doing a blood build, so with blood build, we want to level up a little bit of arcane, at least to like, let's say, 12 is a good number. And then you want to get your strength up to at least 17. 17 vigors your health, make sure you get up to 20 at least, mind a little bit as well. Maybe pop a little bit in the endurance. Intelligence if you want, Faith, I'm going to have to up, uh, level up later, Faith is going to help us a little bit later too, and now, look at your health, beautiful, alright, so we're going to continue forward though, we're not quite done yet with this run, I might stop though, I'll, 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 I guess I'll put this in episode 1, part 1, and I mean, might finish playing it later, I'm gonna get to a certain point here. So I didn't even know this was here until after I beat the green. But there's actually this uh, spot here I didn't even know existed. It has uh, for you to upgrade the, not the, the special weapon, it's like the god king weapon, but definitely the, uh, the regular weapons that you find throughout the game. And there are some like these katanas. Uh, so all those, those, all those dragons are dead. I think that dragon is left on there just because it's for players that are like struggling and can't get through. That will definitely help. So we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna go down this direction here. Um, it's all those uh, those uh, smithy stones that I found, right? So we're gonna get a few more. These are actually the uh, big ones. Oh, 
bosses in the first two parts of the world right now. You get another if you become if you started as another class and you want to be a samurai if you go up that way right, right up that way that i'm looking right there up that cliff right there you can actually collect the armor that i have right now up there you can be a samurai if you want all right so we're actually gonna continue forward i'm just gonna play for a little bit longer i know where i want to be for the next half of the game I said a couple hours. Uh, I meant it. It's a lot of running around here just to get strong enough to enjoy the game. So, uh, every time you see these rooms, just like them. they're really nice, they're easy to get. That's actually going to be somewhere I'm going to go in later and, uh, and get into, but I have to get collect some other things before I can go back over here I need to get. But I like to go ahead and activate this thing up right now, but then come back to it later. So you've got to be really careful, but this is the cave that you're going to be able to get the, uh, the golden uh, scarab. The golden scarab will help you get 20% more rooms, so it's very important, especially if you want to upgrade and make you be able to upgrade yourself to a stronger, uh, easier, and faster. So I'll just put that on there just so I'll know that that's where I need to go later. Alright, we're almost done with this uh, thing though. We've got a few more things to get. Real careful. This game is. Yeah, you can die from falling from a high place. You can die from. You can't swim, so don't try to swim in the water. You will die if you try to swim in the water. So don't do that. You can talk to this guy. I do have some runes still left, so if you want to talk to this guy, you can. I don't think he has very much. Well, okay, very important things, but you can see what he has. He does have some good stuff like this is good to have for build so we can get one. Some arrows, I'd say another 25 arrows should be good. This is a dangerous area here that I'm about to show up at. So I guess this is Grace. It's very dangerous over here. It's really good. Alright. There's a glitch in there. I'm gonna go this direction. I'm gonna just stick to the left a little bit. Not too much. Jump off your horse here. Don't get into that, into that water. That water is rot. That meteor stack is actually good for the beginning of the game. It be a mage. It's really good to have. And that, that uh, that's something else that I'm about to collect in a second. It's really good, especially in the beginning of the game. You can wreck so many guys in the beginning. Like later on, you can try to do something else. But, uh, so, 
door, this is another meteor uh, weapon or meteor magic. Rocks, I think that's what it's called. Rocks, I'm sorry. that thing is poison stuff. Now if you see this thing on the ground over here, you could try to hit it's, a, it's an invisible scarab. So you gotta try if he tries to get it. You have to get in front of it and hit it as it's coming towards you. I've been able to do it a few times. It's difficult at times though. I don't worry about that right now because I'll come back later to it. Now this is a actually an important key to, be, to come back to uh, for getting uh, your rooms upgraded uh, weapons upgraded later on. So, first thing I would do that I already oh yeah, took some grace, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna level up a little bit. So, again, just uh, go here. That just shows you that this is the place I need to show up and go to later. That's all that is. But these guys here are a little tough, so don't, don't go. I mean, you can now go in there, but I wouldn't do it yet until you're done doing what I'm doing. Now, you can do this with any build. I'm just building myself up for a build. Arcane is very important for the blood leak, the letting effects. So it's very important that you do that. I'm going to collect this little spirit thing here. And we're going to come over here. We're going to hit this here. Now, I'm going to show you something here real quick. I'm going to just recast this thing because I think that dog is coming after me. Okay, now. And reset it. So if you click this, you see how it says stop by at the shack beyond the south gate? I'll show you all that later on a different episode of the game. But up there there's a shack and you gotta talk to this guy. He's gonna tell you to collect something for a woman and I'll show you her later as well. We'll start doing the quest. So that's from uh, Michaela Melania. Everybody hates Melania. I hated Melania for like the first, I'd say, 30 
get that, but it's good to have to get out, grab that. Um, again, I'm gonna just get a few more of these. Like I said, just collect, as you get runes, just collect those. Uh, you get another golden seed in this direction. Avoid these Barrett birds. Their backs are turned over here, so that's why you can go to over here without getting murdered by these birds. These birds are like super OP and mo more OP than other guys over here. The only reason I'm coming through here is to uh, come back over here later. Uh, before I fight the big bosses and stuff, I'm actually going to come over here because there's some good things I can grab from over here, this castle over here, um, later. I don't want to do that now, though, because, uh, I'm not well, Of course, as strong as those monsters are, there you go. Over here later, not now, but later. So, again, uh, I've been doing just go ahead and pop that on there for later. But see, you can't come back later and grab those options, those weapons later. So, better than after you, after you do this run, which I'll probably do that in the second, the second, the second time coming back over there. As they get killed by the dogs and the dogs get killed by the guys, you can collect them. Really see? Yep, collect a lot of runes just sitting there. Do not climb up that way, there's two big birds and a dog, so do not go there that way. Just keep going this direction, you'll be fine, you'll be okay. So this is another um, like uh, church that you go to. This church here, you can actually grab. I would recommend to get the uh, rotten breath, just so you can kill the guy. So you can oh, pick up another type of. Uh, if you want to do a strength weapon, I'm, I am going to collect here on this run. That's going to be So get this. You have to have faith in 15, which eventually I will have it at 15. So we're going to go back up. I'm going to get a few more rooms. Not many, I think there's like maybe four rooms over here that I can collect. And. Oh, there are. Okay, so there. Anytime you see these little, little graves, just rob them. They're the free rooms, they're not anyone's. Dead guys. Make sure they don't hit you. They do have like uh, swords and stuff they can kill, try to kill you with. Alright. So that's the next place we're gonna head to that castle right there. So let's head on to that castle. Again, just avoid a lot of these. Now you can get another samurai sword over here, but it sucks. It's like do a, it's Ash of War is like this gravity thing which sucks. So I wouldn't even really mess with anything in here. Unless you want to collect it for collector's sake, you can, but I really don't want it, so I mean I'll probably collect it later. I'm just not doing that right now. There's no, there's no need to do it right now. This guy. I'm gonna guess uh, uh, playing grant, grant me strength, which is really good to have. It, it strengthens you and the uh, and the fire that you, you, if you want to use fire, it will definitely wreck these. Things. A lot of these bosses are weak to fire too, so it, it's just just the, the right way to go. And to get the flame grant me strength, it's actually. You gotta be real good. I've never been killed here with this time before, so let's see if we can do that.
need to come back to here for anything right now. Eventually I will, but not right now. There's like some another uh, scarab thing you can grab over there. Don't worry about that. It's not as important. Another set I am there it is. Grab this. Should be another item over here though. I believe. I could be wrong though. I might be wrong. But yeah, I don't know what that one. Okay, so now we touch this brace right here. Come back and see what we get here later. I will This is for a strength build. If you're gonna be a strength builder, um, this weapon is really good for the beginning. Uh, actually, some guys actually played it all the way through to the end. Since I haven't done a strength build yet, um, I haven't really played too much of it. I thought I was about to fall off there. This weapon here is actually really good to have in the very end of the game. Sword is really good to have. So, I'm actually gonna get out of here. This thing's gonna try to murder me. There's a good magic sword right there, but that thing will murder you, so I'm gonna at the end of this run, so I'm just gonna kinda keep on over here. Pass these guys. over here that I need to grab. These um, books, they're like, I guess you can call them cookbooks, even though you don't really cook anything. Just make sure to touch the beans here. Books. Touch this grace. Like I said, I'm almost, almost there. So I have one more item here that's super important that you're grabbing, especially in the beginning. Um, I'm just trying to give you all in, in enough options on your ta uh, talismans so you can make sure you know what you want to do on your build. And you can look them up on YouTube, you can go to the guide, uh, you can just google the guide and they'll, they'll show you what the guides are. And they can actually show you how to build your character up. Uh, yeah. So, so, so remember those stone wood keys that I got? One of them right here. Actually, I'm gonna actually spend a little bit more time just to get to show you whether some more uh, robbing of the rooms. But this one here, this is actually really cool. This this thing here is really good to have, especially after you beat uh, Margaret and you get the uh, second pouch for the talisman. You'd be so super happy just to have that. How's it? Actually, super easy, especially right now. 
so if you want to buy them, you can. But if y'all just want to wait for me, I'm going to show y'all when to kill them and stuff. Oh, sheesh, I jumped off the wrong side of this time. I didn't get hurt, so that's Alright, so let's see all these more cups. So we drop them into the graves. I'm going to put them here, but... Now, this is the first part of the run uh, for strength building. As you can see, though, I did, I was able to, all right, I was able to upgrade us quite a bit. And as you look, my strength is better, my health is longer, even my my FP is better, and my and everything else is better. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just stop right here, um, and. Uh, next time I am going to show y'all what weapon I'm going to be getting it's called the Bloodhound's Fang and that's my what I'm going to do next is get that Bloodhound's Fang um, but uh, yeah until next time guys this is Eric signing off with Duckcast Gaming and um, I hope y'all like this if y'all enjoyed this please hit a like uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll give you more content um, I am playing offline though on my PC because um, I'm, I'll tell y'all later why, but um, yeah, so until next time guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this, uh, just follow, if you go ahead and follow me, you can go ahead and uh, follow the path I took and the things I did to get yourself uh, powered up and to get stronger and stuff, and yeah, so again guys, until next time, I'll see y'all later, see ya, bye. I uh, noticed on my stream last night after I went back that uh, you couldn't really hear me very well But actually you can hear me. You just got to raise the volume up some so yesterday last night I kind of put you through uh, Where you can get strong early so you can defeat some of the Bosses and bad guys on the first two maps and the, when I say the two first two maps I mean like Limgrave, which is this area here and then this area here, which I forget the name of this one, but it's uh it's uh, America. I don't know what the name of it is. Okay, the Bourne area. I don't remember the name of the map here, but yeah, so that's what I mean by strong enough to defeat all these bosses through here. That's what I'm getting at. And you can get stronger. It's going to get harder as you get strong, uh, uh, as you tr start to travel up. There's a lot of this map that's not even unlocked yet. And um, But today, I'm going to try to show you all how to get the uh, Bloodhound's uh, Fang, which is a very good weapon to have in the very beginning of the game. I would recommend if you're doing a blood build to use that for the first part of the game and then probably the Rivers of Blood when you get to that point. The Rivers of Blood is actually located in a map that's not here yet, um, but we can eventually get up there uh, after we defeat some pretty tough bosses. Uh, but with that being said, um, there's a couple of other things that I need to show you all. Um, on this map, if you look up here, these little holes right here in the game, these are actual uh, caves you can go into, and you can actually um, get, um, uh, uh, what do you call those, uh, smithing stones for your weapons. Uh, there's regular smithing stones, and then there's these white uh, smithing stones, which I forget the name of the white ones right now. Uh, the somber smithing stones are for the like the uh, the fang is going to be one that you're going to have to get. Now um, I'm probably only going to be able to up upgrade this weapon to probably five or six until we get up into another part of the map, um, which I'll share with y'all eventually. So what I'm going to do now is before I start traveling this direction, I'm actually going to activate my attempt to get my um, my fang. And the way to do that to make it easier is I'm going to get a uh, character um, a computer character called Vlad so uh, when I came over here yesterday if you go follow me in the back of the uh, last night when you were watching me I kind of 
detoured over here and I came over here and I collected a couple things and then I headed down to this um, Fort Height and I got the blood build thing on there. Well, I need to come back over here to activate that. And I'll show you what I mean. So when I came here, there was like an owl, uh, like a, a wolf sound coming from this area. That was Blad. So what we're going to do now is after we activated it. So once you hear that, um, that howl here, when you come over here to back to um, to Kale, Merchant Kale is very important because he he's gonna um, help you get a few things in the beginning, which I've noticed when I was watching other players play Elden Ring that they kept on missing the crafting kit. The crafting kit is actually really important um, because that's how you can craft things. Like you see, I can I can do this fire pot, which is really good to have, or the sleep pot is also good to have. And you can collect these rocks, which are important as well. This is for your horses. So you make sure you have some of those. These are bolts. I don't have anything to shoot the bolts with, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. This is if you're doing a uh, multiplayer, which I'm not. I'm only doing the um, regular game, so it's going to be a little difficult for me to get to a certain place later on. But yeah, so now that I'm here, back to Kale. If you talk to him, you're going to see, I'll show you all before I talk to you about that. So here's the crafting kit. If you need to get it, it's 300 runes or, you know, your money, 300 runes. I um, also recommend to probably get this. Uh, this is a cooking book for holy water pots and roped holy water pots. And then these are also good for cured meat, for glowstones and bone arrows. So these are really important to have. So if you have the money, go ahead and order these. You can get this to get some of the early... Um, dungeons but we're, I already got a uh, something a little bit more important um, and usable I'll show you all in a second here I mean before I'd start doing that quest so in my equipment I bought this lantern which is very important and you can collect this lantern actually from if you didn't watch my video last night you can collect it from this guy right here and he has it um, his, I forget his name he's just an isolated merchant but that's where you can get it from it's, it's expensive I think it's like sixteen hundred dollars or something and you can collect it from all the runes so if you want to see how i got these runes just follow my first episode part one and uh it'll show you how to do that so let's go ahead and continue the story now he's going to ask you about the howling in the mist the howl of a wolf in the mist wood and he's trying to tell you about him and who he is and stuff all right so now that i got that get that finger snap thing on you so what I'd like to do is just bring it here. This is similar to this finger snap, so I like to use that. And just look for it. There it is, finger snap. Have it ready. And now we're going to actually travel back over here. This is the closest grace that we have. So you want to go all the way over here and get the grace. And like I said, guys, if you want to know how I got um, a little buffed up in the beginning, go to uh, episode one, part one, and it'll show you there how to get there. On my Twitch, if you want to follow my Twitch, you can see it on there. Or if you wait a little bit longer, I will have it on my YouTube channel as well. Um, my Twitch did um, kind of go out on me last night. Shouldn't be that bad today, but because the the storms are, are gone now, so shouldn't be that big of a deal this time around. But where I'm going to is right here. I'll show you all in a minute where I'm close to. Do not disturb that that bear. It's super super strong, so you're not strong enough for that yet. So this is the area I'm kind of at. I'm going to look for, I'll show you all where Blad is. You can't really see him right here. So when you're over here, you want to kind of sneak around because they can hear your footsteps. But if you crouch, they can't really hear your footsteps. Don't worry about the deer. I really don't mess with the, beers too mu the beer too much, actually. Um, I try to avoid them. Oh, what did I say? The bear? Yeah, don't mess with the bears, but also the deer. They're not really that important. Okay, so I'm here. This is where I need to be. I'll show you all what I'm talking about. So you see up there, that's the guy that's making this, the house sounds. Now that I have the snap finger thing, let's go over here. I snap my fingers. And if you can see him, he's dropping down. All right, so you're going to talk to him a little bit. And he's going to tell you about a guy that you need to defeat, Darawil. And so you just keep talking to him until he starts repeating himself. Once he does that, next place we're going to hit is actually to get the weapon that I'm looking for. So this is the area where he, that uh, Darrow will is at, and this is where we're gonna be heading to. So let's go ahead and go over there. And we'll get the weapon that I'm gonna be using for the first part of the game. Um, 
This is a very strong weapon and it has bloodletting and it's pretty powerful. So, I mean, you can try to defeat the end boss with it, but the only problem is that the main, the first part of the bad guy there, a Radagon, um, he doesn't bleed. So, I had to change my tactics to defeat the, the big boss. I did beat the game on my PS4 and offline. I was so frustrated. This game is very frustrating. So, you're going to touch this now you get help from Vlad so anytime you see these little golden things here go ahead and touch them and he'll come help you just wait for him to come though and while you're doing that you can actually go ahead I think I should have my magics do I have my magics yet oh, I might have not hooked up my magics yet maybe I did let me see my weapons I don't have no I haven't did that yet but it's fine it's all right we don't have to buff ourselves all right so I'm gonna use my two weapons here this should be a pretty easy fight here just slap him with that and then run away because he's gonna try to hit you let Vlad kind of kind of hit him oh there we go and then BAM and then BAM oh geez okay oh sheesh okay so you want to kind of run away a little bit he's almost dead though I see you can see him that he's like getting wrecked And he's dead, just like that. All right. Now it's gonna. It might take you a couple tries to get him. I've fought him a hundred times, so I can kind of just one shot him at, t or not one shot, but beat him the first try. He is very difficult if you play him without help. Um, I've defeated him before, but I was also super powered, and he was pretty easy. I wouldn't say easy. He was he was manageable. Now don't forget to come over here to Blad. He's like sitting here because he's gonna give you. A smithing stone for your weapon as well if you saw I didn't get that weapon so it's on me I should be able to carry it already uh, let's see yep so I, I have so in order to use this weapon you also have to have 18th strength and dexterity at 17 um, I do have a um, talisman this talisman which enhances my attribute a few of my attributes by 5% like vigor I think endurance strength and dexterity I think is all the ones that I do use for that um, so now with this weapon we're gonna go ahead and see if we can upgrade it so in order to upgrade it if you remember before we went over here to this uh, uh, round table hold it's a uh, it's like not in the world it's kind of off the world if that makes any sense to you it's part of the game I guess where nobody, you can't hurt anyone. I'm hitting all the buttons to hit, and it's not hitting. So it's a safe place for us. I have not defeated any of the main bosses yet. I'm gonna do that later after I finish doing the map and collecting more things. So you want to talk to this guy here. Let's see how how much high I can put this weapon in the beginning. Strength and armament. Let's go ahead and upgrade to plus three. I need to. Do I not have a plus three? It's just not. 1200 yeah I don't have a and it's fine plus two is fine even though this is a three plus it's actually a, a two plus weapon it that just means where you need to upgrade it to next is basically what that means see it's a plus two all right so we're actually going to travel I'm going to kind of actually remove these for now uh, just because it, it, my load will be a little bit uh, easier and we're going to actually come back up here we're going to travel and um, try to get through here now this weapon is really good also because you can put grease on it and the grease depending on what kind of grease you use will damage the bad guys fire will, will basically hurt most of the bad guys in the game uh, but I'll show you here I'm crafting I can't craft it but inventory actually you know what let me remove I can remove these here and put on the grease so these greases are really good to have I like bloodletting grease because it makes it the the uh, the bad guy get bleed a lot more so we're gonna use that and we're actually gonna go beyond the main boss of the game there's a little area we can travel through that'll actually uh, bypass these bad guys here which is really nice because then I can actually upgrade or get us stronger before we go to uh, fight the main boss the first boss of the game I think I heard there was like 165 somewhere around there bad guys or uh, um, bosses in the game. 
main bosses in the game, so yeah, there's a lot. I did not defeat all of them. I just defe defeated the main ones that it took for me to beat the game. Alexa, turn off the kitchen light. Sorry, my see, my uh, light was on. Okay, so Nomadic Book number seven. Nomadic Book number seven. Let's see what it is. All right, there it is. It gives us soft cotton, cotton which is important. Statues, bolosas, I don't know what that is. Rainbow stone arrows, I don't know what those are either. But it's good to have these cotton things because if you're dropping off a really high place, it's really helpful. All right, we're going to go down this way. If you're wondering how to, I'm getting over here, I, I kind of travel from here and travel to here. There's that lady. There's that little bridge I was, I'm on, and I'm going to travel through here and go kind of like through the back back here and go around you'll see in a minute I am gonna collect this thing here I always miss this thing at the first so why it's so powerful why this game uh, weapon is so powerful because you do this I didn't do the follow-up but there's a follow-up that's pretty powerful as you can see this weapon is pretty OP already the katanas would have taken like three or four hits before it finally died but this one hit and is dead this is a very good weapon to have in the beginning of the game. All right, so we're gonna kind of go through oh, these trees. I get stuck on these trees. So this is the little pass through. As you can see, it's kind of right here, and we're gonna kind of travel behind here and go that direction. There are some maps we can collect as we go through, but this is like a little bypass. I think they let this uh, be open on on purpose just so that we can travel because this game is a from software game, and it's this game this type of game is always going to be very difficult and I barely survived this game I did beat it but it was not because I was really good at it I really suck at this game guys I am probably the worst it's especially um, I used to be really good at playing like Call of Duty and stuff but um, uh, I don't like to say this too much but I did have a stroke and then after the stroke um, I kind of suck now uh, but it's fine I still love playing video games and it was so pleasurable to actually beat this game because it was so difficult for me. So, I mean, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It just takes a lot of practice. This type of game, you have to learn the 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 attacks. You have to learn how the, the guys move and hit you and stuff. And you got to avoid a lot of these hit, hits that they hit you with. Sometimes I'm really good at it with some of the bad guys. Sometimes I'm not. I just barely survive. I'm, I don't need to talk to that guy. He's not that important right now. I'm not going to kill him. Things are messed up if I kill them. You can kill him, but, I mean, why are you going to kill a guy that's not really there? I mean, you can get magic from him if you... And some of this magic you can collect from another character in this game anyways, but... I like to go ahead and just skip it for now because I'm just trying to get strong enough to defeat, like I said, the two first maps. And, and you'll start growing. This, this game is all about upgrading and, and leveling up. And the way you do that with this game is by runes or your money, basically what it's for. There's another. Uh, just collect these things. If you see any of these little white things uh, showing up after you kill a bad guy or on the ground or behind something, pick it up. It most of the time is weird stuff. Sometimes it's really good stuff. So you can collect weapons, items, helmets, gear, all kinds of stuff in this game. We're gonna talk to this guy. Here's the er other area that if you didn't collect the um, lantern from him in this spot, it's here as well. So there it is if you want it. I'm going to collect this. The reason I'm going to collect this is because you can do crystal darts. And we're going to be going to a dungeon that we can use the crystal darts at. So it's very important to do that. So I'm going to collect that. I don't really need anything else here right now. And we're going to continue forward. Don't forget the butterfly things. All right, we're just going to continue forward here. We're gonna, there's a map that's going to be coming up here. Just be really careful. There's some bad guys here. You should be able to take a couple of hits now that I upgraded some from the last episode. Last part of the episode. Oh, geez. Sometimes it just takes a couple. There we go. I'm just going to jump out of their way. And we're going to go this direction here. I kind of know where I'm going, but if you, oh, I can't even pull up my map now. As long as these bad guys watch you, you can't really um, do much else. I'm going to avoid these guys so they won't try to murder me here. Here's another grace. Go ahead and touch this grace so that you can continue on forward. Graces are good, so if you die, you'll show right back up at the last grace you touched. So always touch these graces. They're very important. All right. Now, we're going to go this direction here. 
and we're going to go to this little tower thing here and we're going to touch this uh, portal thing as quickly as possible. These guys are going to shoot some stuff at you that can kill you. So just wait and make sure to press yes and connect to this. We're going to actually uh, uh, um, show up at a part of the map that's, um, that's a uh, magic that a lot of the guy, uh, streamers that I've been watching say um, Harry Potter's castle. I forget the name right now. Yeah, but this Learning of the Lakes, it's the magic place. And, but we're not going to go there right now. We're just going to touch this grace. And we're actually going to go back down. We don't need to worry about none of these guys right now. Okay. Now we're going to get back on the horse. Now there's two ways you can go. The first way to go is... Yeah, let's go this way. Forget it. Let's just go this way. Just be careful how you jump over here because you can die. I'll see like that. Dang, I should have stand it, stood there. It's fine. Like I said on the first episode, part one, um, I am going to die a few times here trying to get strong. You can die from high pr places, so just be prepared. And don't forget to pick, pick up your runes. Anytime you see these, this little golden thing here, pick up your runes because if you lose well i didn't have many runes anyways but still i think it's right here yeah this is where i jump off from so i like to kind of um, sometimes i do it on the first try sometimes it takes a couple tries to get over there but we're gonna jump and jump again and there we are and see i'm standing so i shouldn't fall to my death and we're actually gonna go right back here there's some runes right back here this is why i'm going to show you this way because there's runes here that you can collect just collect all the ones in the center the reason why I say that is because they're going to shoot poison at you. Well, actually, they're shooting this stuff at me. Dang, bro. They never shoot uh, throw that stuff on me the first time. That's messed up. They always do the poison first, usually. Just collect these as, as best, best as you can. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't kill me. Just avoid them as best as you can. Sometimes you're not going to be able to avoid them, but, I mean, just jump around run around see now they're doing the poison so they kind of flipped it on me usually they do the poison first and then they do the little glowy stuff at you don't get into that green gl glowing stuff because that will that's the poison it will hurt you all right go around this thing here just to collect that you will get a little bit poison that's fine just don't sit in it too long or you know you'll get you'll die from the poison or you slowly start dying to, uh, falling to your death all right, so now that we got that, we're actually going to go, I don't need to go that way. Oh, where am I? Let me look at the map. Oh, geez, no, no thanks. Let's go over here then, just for now, because I, I need to get collect my thoughts. This is the church that I'm, I'm going to have to go to later, after I def defeat Godric. But don't go into it, just go next to it so you can kind of see where you're at. I'm actually going to collect this you see that ball thing right there this is actually a very powerful thing you can put on your arm and mid as well so oh you dirty did me dirty so one hit should kill it bam oh no okay oh dang i missed so that was the follow-up hit from this attack so bam there you go and that's what it is blood fly blood flame blade you can put it on your arm and mid if you want okay now that i know where i'm at next location I need to go to see this little thing here this is actually where the maps are so you definitely want to go there but I also need to go I guess I'll just go straight and I did take a detour um, I was just trying to collect some stuff but I need to is that the where I'm supposed to go though one okay yeah that's where I'm heading okay there's a couple of things you can get on the way there though um, so I am taking a slight detour I might collect some things on the way there. So let's go this way. Depending on where I'm at, because sometimes this map is so big I forget where I'm at at times. Oh yeah, there's a grace right there. So collect this grace. It's always good to catch a grace. So when you see a grace, oh okay, I know where I'm at now. Yeah, there's that castle thing. That castle is very important, but I need to get a golden seed from here, and I know it's in the front of this building, so I'm gonna go this direction. There's a bear back there on the left, so don't go that way. We're not ready for that bear yet. And there's the golden seed, because I kind of remembered where it was. All right, 
from here we're going to go to the map next just follow that number one on if you look up to the middle and top of your screen you'll see where it shows a blue thing glowing you want to always follow that bl glowing blue thing as you can see it it's up in the sky it kind of just guides you where you need to go to next always touch it though so that way you can knock it off and you don't have to look for it later Got that. Get the map. Touch this grace. Actually, before I even do that, I do need to track back a little bit. Um, I need to go here to her. I need to go to him. Back and forth. And then I got to go here and then here. These are important. So I'll just go by one, two, three, four, five. And that's why it's so important to have these. You can do up to five of these little blue things, and they just, they're just very helpful. Uh, actually, while I'm on the way there, if you see one of these over here, go ahead and just collect it on the way. Uh, they have, sometimes it's runes, sometimes it's... Um, oh, sheesh, what was that? Oh, yeah, get away from this guy. He will one-shot you with that spit. All right, I didn't need to go that way. That guy right there will murder you, bro. So we're going to kind of jump... The, oh. All right, we're gonna run this way. Now, if you run from that thing, you do kind of a, a turning kind of running because it can one-shot you, see? So it's always good to do this kind of diagonal stuff so he try to shoot you again. He can shoot you from a long way, man. You gotta kind of avoid it by continually just going at a slight angle as you run towards the first location there. And I don't think it's gonna hit me again. So we're going to actually go and hop up here. Oh, her. This is where we're going to talk to her first. We need her for later. And she had a necklace stolen from her, so we got to get it back. And I should have enough rooms to collect it for her. So now that we talked to her, next location I'm going to be heading to is right up here. This is the next location, number two. So we're going to run back to that. Oh, I forgot to get up back on my horse. All right. Oh, my horse didn't. Move. Sometimes I don't know why I call the horse and it doesn't show up. Now here, if you're at night, you'll see this big bird try to murder you. Don't, don't fight it. It's not worth it right now. All I'm doing is getting you ready for the first two maps. And then you can slowly um, grow your, your, your strength and your health until you get to this part of the map later. All right, so let's touch the grace. Always touch a grace. And this is the guy I want to talk to. But make sure you have uh, money on you. So I need a 1,000 runes. I don't need to use many, just enough. That's close enough to it. Now, if you want to buy some of the stuff that he has, actually, yeah, I'm going to call uh, just buy a few more of these. Uh, just one of those. Let me collect a few of those. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but just talk to him, Give, tell him to give you the necklace, to sell it to him. All right, buy it from him. Oh, once you buy it from him, just talk to him again. And then what you want to do is go back, talk to him one more time, buy some prawns from him. I'll buy three prunes, and then he's going to give you one more, uh, talk, talk to him about Ella, or whatever her name was. And then talk to him again, just a regular talk. Oh, sorry guys. Hi, what's your name? Marked. Hey, how's going your stream, dude? Oh, stream's going good, man. You know. Sydney Mark. Hello, Sydney Mark. I'm not really watching, so I might miss you for a little while. Sorry. All right, so yeah, I like that spread it out thing. So I like to use that right here in this spot here. I just like it. It's really weird, but... I don't know, I'm a weirdo, I guess. This is what it does. All right. So, yeah, guys, if I see you on there, I will respond. You just got to give me some time. I am trying to. Uh, so, City Mark, I'm actually, uh, or it's just Sydney or just City Mark, your whole name. I don't know. But I'll, I'll just call you Sydney for now. Um, I'm trying to get this character up so that I can uh, help y'all defeat. Oh, Hey, what's up, blood? <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go and show you. Oh, 
I did not mean to do that. All right, so we're gonna go next. We're gonna go back over here to Raya and we're gonna go and give her her necklace. Let me go ahead and put this on here so I can know where I'm going. That's number one. So back to one again. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I don't know if you're a girl or guy, but I'll say man for now. <laughs> Just trying to play some Elden Ring, trying to help people that struggle with it, because I know I struggled a lot in the beginning. Just trying to help somebody out, you know? All right, so let's go over here. This is actually one of the spots that I wasn't supposed to go, but let's go ahead and just hit it. There's another grace right here. We'll need it for later. Uh, my stream is going good, man. Um, I'm just trying to just play the game and just help people out. I know that this game is, could be kind of hectic, hectic for people. All right, let's go this way. This is a pretty uh, tough game. Believe me, I know, because I... I did beat it on my PS4, but <laughs> it was I, I didn't stream it because I was so angry with the game. But I'm just trying to help others now to get at least strong enough to beat the game or at least get close to beating the game. Uh, okay, just talk to her. She's going to give you a letter. Yep. So now you can go to the Volcano Manor, which we'll be going to later. All right, so next. We're going to head on to number four. I didn't that out okay so yeah we're gonna go to number four there's a item I need to get here to um I used to stream uh, I used to stream at least two or three times uh, weekly sometimes more I've been kind of on vacation and stuff so I'm kind of starting to pick it up back back up or trying to pick it back up now um, I used to stream a lot back in, uh, a few months ago. I've been trying to just, uh, I have kids and, and a wife, so I'm trying to spend time with them too. So it's been, it's been um, kind of difficult to stream a lot. Usually I just do this for pleasure more than anything though. I don't stream for, for you know, making money or anything. But I know that this game for a lot of people is very difficult. So I'm just trying to help them out. A lot of people are like, how did you beat it? You know, yeah. I didn't beat it though. I barely, I barely won, honestly. Uh, Radagon and the Elden Beast were pretty tough. Uh, Melania was actually, she was tough, but I actually fought her a, a lot less than I did Radagon. Because I don't play enough, I guess. I, I don't play very much. Um, like right now, I just got off of work, I took a shower, and I don't have anything to do at the house right now, so I just picked it up and started playing. I do have some followers, um, they're the ones that message me every once in a while and tell me oh, I should do some more content with um, Elden Ring. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I should be going back to what I was doing. Sorry guys, uh, my brain is messed up. Oh yeah, no, I don't do designer stuff, man. I don't have no money for that. I'm broke. See, so yeah, you won't get any turn for me, man. I'm, I'm pretty broke. All right, so I need to go this way. Go that way. Oh yeah, so I'm to, I'm, I need to go over here next. So I label that as one, and a little bit closer. If you want to send me something, I, I'll look at it. Um, no promises that I'll that I'll do it. Just to let you know beforehand, I'm just I'm broke, bro. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Where I need to go? Okay, so I know where I'm at. Okay, so I need to go this way. Now I'm remembering. Okay, sorry, my brain is messed up. So sometimes I forget what I'm doing. All right, so what we're we gonna do next is we're gonna kind of go north or yeah north uh we're gonna go talk to this guy this guy's uh he's right here he's gonna tell me about his girl getting killed or whatever you know the blood her dead here with the blood he's gonna tell you that she died he's mad he's gonna try to kill somebody i think for it 
And once I got that, he doesn't have too much of a conversation list. You can usually talk to him for like a couple times and then you should be done. We're going to head on this way. Uh, we're going to go through here. And we're going to, this is a portal that's going to send me to another part of the map is basically what this is. So we're going to portal over here. This next half of the the, the game is a uh, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's uh, it's because of, it's uh, you, the the game is really ha is harder when you go up to this part this map here. Um, basically, all this map here is really easy in comparison to the rest of the game. So these two maps is what I'm grinding for over here. Later on, you can do this map next, and then I would probably recommend to go over here to this area. That's my recommendation. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Always remember, touch a grace when you're at next to it. I'm not trying to game for speed or anything. I'm just trying to get through this game for y'all. I'm actually gonna be playing Neo 2 um, after I do this. Uh, but I'm just preparing for other players that are having issues uh, playing the game in the beginning. A lot of people are like screaming and stuff at the game. It, it's a tough game, man. It's it's really tough. Yeah, don't don't fight him. A lot of the a lot of this game, you can just travel and look for stuff and find things, and it just makes things. Uh, th uh, this game is a lot of discovery, so you got to discover a lot of. You're gonna discover a lot of things through this game. And you see that big chest that, that the big troll thing was um, was pulling. Usually they have nice weapons and stuff. That weapon is not that big. It's not a really strong weapon though, so I wouldn't even worry about it. But if you want to take it down, you can. All right, I know there's a there's a shield here, and then also the blood. Oh jeez, don't kill me with the poison, bro. Uh, there we go. Got out of there. Oof. You can die from that poison easily. See how I'm half my half my health is gone from that poison. All right, we're gonna kind of go north northeast here, and we're gonna go up and kind of to the right. And it's actually a part that I'm that I would uh, probably go hit up later on. I won't do it now because it, it, you'll, you'll get killed, but it's the main boss from the very beginning that if you play the game, you, you know what I'm talking about, it's like this big spider thing that's gonna, and it will murder you, bro, especially right now. Now, on Game Plus, you can kill it first time, no no issues, like, I only, I only took it only took me one time to, to kill it, but uh, the, in the beginning, man, I couldn't even get close to killing them, because you, you basically, gain, when you're playing the game, you... Um, you're playing fresh, you know, uh, level 1 through 11 somewhere. Alright, so now that I've collected that, make sure to get this stone because you will need it later. Just go ahead and get it now. Get it out of the way. Now, a trick that I showed you all from of some people last night was if you jump... There we go. If you jump on top of the box, and you can actually um, go through the animation and speedily go through there. Alright, so where I'm at next here, we're going to actually come up this direction. Now here we can also collect um, some more um, runes and stuff. So I'm actually going to try to upgrade my weapon up to level four. I think is what it is. Level four is the the highest I can go. Yeah, I'm an artist too, so I, I can draw stuff when I want to. Uh, if you go to my other streaming channel, uh, you can see some of the stuff. Oh, dang it. Stupid glowing jerk. Okay. So, yeah, I, I draw too. You can watch my drawings and stuff. My daughter draws and I draw. See some of the stuff I've drawn. Basically, I did it after my stroke. So, that was most of my streaming for drawings I did after my stroke. All right. Come on, EG. Alright, so here you can actually upgrade your weapon up to level 4, so that's probably what I'm, I'm going to do here. My weapon right now is, uh, what is it? I forget what the weapon is at right now. It's at 2, so I need a 3 and a 4, so 
They're expensive, but I got all these runes. And that's why it's so important to get runes, man. Runes help a lot. Let me go ahead and get some more one of these. I like to have enough runes to actually collect all these. All right, now we're going to strengthen. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need a two. That's right. I forgot. I think a two. I got a three. Right, yeah. No. Yeah, let me get this. There. Oh, no. What the heck? Okay, let me see. Why is my weapon not upgrading? So I got a f two. So I need a three, a four. I thought I had a three, two. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have a three. Oh, I thought, I got, I thought that's what I bought was a three. I'm a dummy, bro. All right, uh, two, a three. There we go. That's it. Purchase. Oh, strength. There we go. Three, four. There we go. So I'm a plus four now. All right. All right, guys. So next, go ahead. I'm gonna touch this grace just to replenish my health and stuff, and my potions. And oh, if you notice that flask, uh, you can up, you can actually um, do your flasks here. Like uh, this adds another potion to my stuff. Now the potions, I'll go ahead and do that too. That just makes more of it. All right, so now I have six health and two magic. I'll keep it like that for now. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we're actually gonna go. I'm not gonna get any more runes right now because I'm trying to get through to, to the end of this so I can show you all a couple of the fights oh shit bro okay so sorry i cuss i cuss a lot oh i don't cuss a lot but i cuss sometimes now all right so if you jump back here and just go oh, there we go jesus christ okay there Whew, that was close all right make sure you land there first because now you're gonna get hurt or die so just make sure you don't get hurt or die we're gonna kind of go to the oh there we go click this intelligence Talisman. A lot of these. Oh, that's not talisman. That's a uh, curl tier, whatever you call it. All right. Now we're gonna actually go uh, start heading kind of a southeast direction. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you watch my uh, YouTube channel, it's called Delcast Gaming. You'll see my my art stuff that I, is actually a, a thing that I was doing um, to kind of. Help me with my stroke. Um, I kind of let it go though, because there's a lot of stuff that's still going on. But you know, I try not to stress too much about it. Right, so this direction here. I sort of the back. I didn't want to turn on the light in the in the in the room. All right, we're gonna hop up here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. All right, so the next location that I'm gonna be hitting is actually gonna be kind of right in this area right here. There's a grace right here, but there's also a smithing stone there. So I'm gonna kind of hit two things at once. There are some runes over there. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I know you guys want me to show you all how to get strong early in the game. So yeah, this game is just all about discovering and growing and leveling up uh, I do have another um, from software game and it's called Bloodborne I think I did play it a little bit but that game is so difficult it's exact it's somewhat like this game but on that game you don't get to um, you don't get to oh, sheesh. oh god that joke is coming at me you don't get to jump. There we go. I got to pull it out. It takes me a little bit sometimes to get out what I'm trying to say. All right. Now we're going to head to this direction where there's a big ass dragon, bro. This joker is tough as nails. So I don't recommend fighting him right now. I know Tim the Tatman, <laughs> he could not defeat him because he was very low level. But I wouldn't recommend it either, even, at, even though I did level up a little bit. All right, so I like to come back here and hop off the horse and then kind of grab. This is what I'm looking for. That's what I need. But I'll get these three things here. And then I'm actually going to travel. Eesh, hurry up. You got to do it quickly, though, because once that um, dragon 
see, knows that you're there, he will try to kill you, and you can't get out of the out of the map thing. All right, I'm back where I need to be. Okay, so we're gonna actually go through here. Now we can go into the Lucaria Academy with that that uh, stone key that I just grabbed from behind that that dragon. That's where it's located. So good luck, guys. Just as long as you go behind him and grab it real quick and then uh, tra fa fast travel to where I just went to, you should be okay. Alright, my guy. Let's see here. Alright, so we're going to kind of touch this here. Now, I used to go in there, but they kind of patched a level 7... Um, level 7 um, sombering uh, smithing stone for my this weapon that I have right now so I won't be able to collect it right now that way but it's fine I can come back later and pick it up it's no issue all right my guy collect this and now we're gonna fast travel to another part of the map and we're not gonna worry about the Lucaria thing right now because it's that place is kind of OP right now, and I definitely don't want to get murdered. It's not as OP as uh, some of the other bosses in this game. So, all right, so we're gonna kind of travel through here. And now we're gonna make it to another part of the map that we have not been to yet, and we're almost we're getting close to the end of my run. What I'm trying to do now is just collect a couple more health um, and magic stones. That's why I'm going through here. This is actually a part of the map that you don't come to until later up on in the game as well. So make sure you come up this way and pick it, pick uh, touch that grace, and we're kind of, kind of, kind of go at a north, north, northwest direction, somewhat N more north than anything though. But obviously, collect anything on your way there. Avoid these guys; they're pretty OP right now. And I think I went too far to the left. So let's go a little bit right. There should be another church. There it is. That's what I was looking for. It's going to be another grace right here. Touch the grass, a couple of guys say. And I'm maidenless. So just so you all know, I'm maidenless. All right, we're going to go ahead and collect another one of these. These sacred tears, if you didn't watch my previous video, sacred te tears are to replenish more of our potions or health or magic. Um, so as you grow level, if you level up your vigor, you'll need that to level up more of your great of your of how much of your uh, health and your uh, and your magic you you'll be able to replenish. So it's very important. So let's collect them all. All right, we're gonna collect this. Runarchs are very important. I, I wasted a lot of rune arcs trying to defeat Radagon and the Elden Beast, and that's basically the only boss that I actually needed to use them on. Everyone else was pretty easy, especially after I got my Rivers of Blood weapon. Man, I just I just ran through all these bad guys, man. Um, I did have to change my tactic when I got to um, uh, Millennia. Millennia is a very difficult. Uh, boss in the game she's actually you can you can beat the game without fighting her but I did just to prove it to myself that I could do it um, I actually took less deaths fighting her than I did the rider gone in the Elden Beast man it, it was really crazy man it was like what the heck but yeah rider gone in Elden Beast was real tough for me especially rider gone rider gone uh, doesn't respond to to blood uh, to blood loss and now that's what I was a major I was a major blood loss player and I was just ripping these guys to shreds man like all the bosses up to Radagon and Elden Beast were like easy man I did that a few times to a couple of the bad guys but once I learned the the move sets I was good as gold I was able to defeat them no problem all right so let me see if look of uh, Ryo's over here sometimes she so shows up here sometimes she doesn't I don't think she did this time, but I can still go to the round um, table hold. I'll just have to go the long way around, which is, is fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's a little hard. I'm just trying to look and make sure I didn't miss her somewhere back here. All right. Oh, no, there she is right there. Now, I can fast travel to her right now, which is probably what I'll do, just so I'll have it, a spot there. 
yeah, take me. I'm just gonna do it real quick, so I still have a little bit of time. I'm uh, like I said, sometimes I can, I can do it with her there, and sometimes I can't. So it just depends, honestly. I'm glad she was there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just do it now and get it over with, and then we can come back to her later or get back to the to the um, to the volcano manor later and there's a a boss in there that's pretty tough i mean you can use the sleeping pots to make him go to sleep and then rip his asshole oh sorry <laughs> rip his asshole i guess i could say it sorry sometimes i just say what i'm say stuff without thinking all right let's talk to her real quick and talk to a couple of guys over there and then we'll continue on to my journey to finish off this thing. I'm just gonna talk to some guys over here and collect some more items that would be good to have. You're gonna open this door. There's two doors you can open here. They're not very necessary, but they are nice to have. Hello. Oh, there's Uriah. Then you got there quick, girl. Let's just talk to her there. She already talked. Talk to this guy here. He said he was leaving. I don't want to spoil anything for y'all, so I'm not going to spoil any of the story right now about some of these guys. Alright, so let's go back out. And I'm actually just going to go back. I doubt what's his face is over here because I haven't talked to that guy yet. I will have to fight him later to get some stuff from him, but yeah, he's not here. So let's go back. So this is where it's at. See, it's in the map, and I need to get to the map, but not now. <laughs> we're going to just come back over here where we're at. I think I went a little bit too far back. That's fine. That's all right. But yeah, blood. You can, if you want to put a, if, send me a, a drawing, and I can look at it and stuff. That's fine. Uh, no promises that I'll. Jeez, I can go further up. I think. Oh shit! What the heck am I doing here? I hate it when this happens. All right, there we go. I thought. Oh, I didn't touch the... Ah, uh, my dummy. I'd never touch that grace. That's right. Because I went to talk to Raya. That's right. That's what That's what happened. Okay, so now I know why. I was like, where? I thought I could go up there. I see now why. Well, now that I got... Um, the... Uh, sorry, I didn't go past this part. Now that I got... Yeah, I'll still, I'll still collect the stuff over there. I guess I can do that. Still got some time before my wife and kids come home, so... Let's go. And the reason why I'm loading so quickly is because I'm not playing on my PS4. I'm playing on my PC and offline. So I'm actually going to show you how to get to a hard part that's way later. Late. But I think I can get to it um, by avoiding a lot of the fight uh, once I get to that point. But I'm not going to spoil it for y'all now. It'll be like later on if I decide to play this game with y'all later. I'm just not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to play some Neo 2. Hopefully later. Sorry, I'm just checking my stuff. All right, so I'm gonna collect a few things here. Main thing that I'm gonna be collecting through here, though, is gonna be my golden seeds, so I can level up my characters. Now, every time you use those golden seeds, you have to use one more. If that makes so the f like what I'm saying is like the first time you get a an extra flask of uh, health or magic, you get one flask. The next time you need to get one, you're going to have to use two golden seeds. The next time you need to get one, you're going to have to use three golden seeds, and so on and so on. So yeah, as many of these you can collect, the better. So collect as many as you can. And there's another golden seed over here. Just make sure you get it. And we're going to collect that. We're going to come back over this direction. I'm not even going to worry. There's, there's a... a, a uh, you can go and you can fight and get a, a pretty OP looking um, weapon later. I'll show you the, where it's at because I need to go that direction anyway. So I'll kind of show you all where it's at. So if you do the um, the Ronin, I'll call him the Ronin. I don't know what his name is right now. It's not Blad. Blad is the guy that helped me with the other thing. But there is a, um, a I guess it's a girl maybe. I don't know. A guy or girl or something. I don't know. But, yeah, don't fight this thing here. You don't need to fight that thing right now. It's not worth it. 
There's nothing you get from him anyway, so just collect your stuff. And you're gonna hop up here. Oh, which would be easier. I'll hop this direction and hop up here this way. If you're trying to wonder where I'm at, I'm actually right here. I'm gonna kinda come this direction. So let's hop up. And we're gonna be going through a slightly difficult and dangerous area here. Uh, it, especially um, not being so strong, I might get murdered here. So, I mean, it took me a while to get good at getting through here. But, I mean, after a few, a few tries, you do eventually, you are going to be able to eventually get, get through here e pretty easy. Alright, we're going to go through here. So if y'all want to really like go through the game really easily and quickly, Rivers of Blood up to level 10 is the best way to go. No lie, man. It's Rivers of Blood is probably one of the most amazing game, uh, weapons I've ever seen in my life. Compared to, it's actually, I would say, the only weapon that would to, for me the next best weapon would be this. So uh, this. Um, Wolf, or wolf's fang, whatever the, I forget the name of it now. The Bloodhound's fang. So it's really nice. Game, it's a really nice weapon to use. Rivers of Blood. It's amazing. You don't have to fight a uh, a uh, M NPC, but once you defeat him, you're good. All right, let's go ahead and kill these guys. I'm well, not kill these guys, but get away from these guys. Touch this grace. While you're here, just go ahead and get these um, runes. Again, if you guys are just joining me, um, runes is money in this game. And you need runes for everything. From upgrading weapons, buying items, upgrading your flasks, upgrading yourself, making you stronger. Vigor. Vigor, I, uh, when I beat the... Um, Elden Beast and Radagon. I was at level. I don't even know what level I was at. Oh, the wolf, you're dead. Um, all right, so I'm done there. We go back down. Uh, what was I saying? I dang forgot what I was talking about. It's all right. It'll be fine. I'm gonna call myself. Oh man, I'm gonna call myself. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh man. Um, so, I don't know what I was talking about before, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's go this direction. I'm actually going to show you where I'm going to be heading to next. I'm actually going to go over to here, so that's where I'm heading to next. Let's go ahead and collect this blood grease. I think it's blood grease. Yeah, blood grease. Blood grease is going to be very helpful with my bloodhound's fang. It will really let the blood flow on the bad guys. Alright, so we're going to go here. See that little pillar there that's where I'm heading to next like I said is on my way there I always try to collect all the things on the way there so I can use for my crafting kit the more of these cookbooks you have get and stuff the more things you'll be able to craft this weapon here is really good to have as well it's like a, a big old club looking thing and putting up to level 10 it will make it OP as well but I'm not gonna mess with that right now it's not necessary at the moment. Touch this grace. Now I'm going to be heading. Let me see if I can't. Okay, yeah, I can do the map. I'm actually going to be heading kind of over here somewhere. And then I'm going to go up here somewhat. Somewhere in this area up here. I think it's up here actually. And then I'm going to be going over here somewhere. And then I'm going to be heading this direction. So those are my last next places that I'm going to be heading. So. Just like I said, I must have my one somewhere. It's fine though. No biggie. No biggie. If y'all wondering why I sound weird talking, it's because I, I just forget a lot of things, and it takes me a little bit. I'm a little slower um, mentally from the stroke. So yeah, there's a couple of things that I'm I, I forget a lot, and then I mess up on my words a lot. And I don't like talking either, so there's a lot of that going on. 
So the reason I came here to number two is because I have this uh, other golden seed here, like I said, some golden seeds you need to collect. I'm actually gonna touch this thing so it could disappear. When you just run into this thing, it disappears afterwards. Now we're gonna climb back up. We're heading to, I guess, one. Maybe I'm heading to one now. I don't know. Oh man, it's getting dark over here, man. Was, what the, heck? it's getting dark. I might change. I'm getting a little lighter over here. All right, guys, let's go. I know this is long, but I'm telling you, this is gonna really help you be able to kind of sit back and defeat a lot of the first bosses in the game. You'll be able to defeat um, Margaret, and you'll be able to defeat Rad uh not Radagon, um, what's his name? Be able to defeat, uh, well, not Margaret, uh, Godric. So the Godric and you know, you just be able to beat the first few bosses in the game. And that's what I like about it, you know. That's, it helped me a lot. And then, I know you're going to probably be fighting a whole bunch of guys and not getting many runes. But there is something you can get that will actually be helpful. So when you get strong, by the end of the game, you'll be able to be, get the golden, the golden Scarab. The Golden Scarab is actually very helpful. It gives you 20% more runes, so it's really good to have it, especially in the beginning of the game. Oh, uh, sheesh. Come on, guys, get out of my way, bro. Okay. The uh, twin knight sword is actually really nice to have as well. It's like this uh, twin sword thing, and uh, it's very helpful. All right, so now we're gonna be heading this direction. There's one more golden seed here. You don't need to collect. You gotta be real careful here. You can get one shot by big balls that'll be thro be thrown at you. So be really careful coming up over here. Just look up. Just watch your eye up and towards this direction because you'll see them flying and you can kind of avoid them because once they get slung they can't really move out of the way uh, you, you know just keep your eye up there could look up like that look oh geez see what i mean there's like oh shit. come on oh, just run 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 get back on your horse heal up heal up bro like i said this is a very <laughs> hard place. Oh, see they're trying to murder me, man. But as long as you go on the side. Alright, so now that I got that golden seed now, we can kind of hug this right side. Just hug the right side. They can't hit you if you're here on the right side. It's like they can't see you. Uh, kind of, okay, now I can kind of run this direction. Kind of, kind of run through the back here. And this way. All right, here we are. I touch this thing so it can disappear. And then go over here and touch this grace. All right, we're gonna gonna do a detour just so I can get over here later. Um, there's a spot that I need to get to later to cheese a boss and get into the part of the game that's um, usually you won't be able to get to early. But cheesing this boss will definitely be able to get you to that spot. You can definitely be able to get to a part of the game that's uh, actually I think it's one of the f funner parts of the game. It's, it's horrendously hard but I mean I don't know I have fun getting my ass kicked there. I don't know why. <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to spoil the thing until we get to that point though. I'm trying to keep kind of some stuff from y'all so y'all won't get overly uh, too much information so close to the game so start to the start of the game I want you to have some mystery and stuff especially with the story of the game all right so here you want to touch the grace and then kind of get get all right there we go once you get into the grace those guys disappear and they don't hurt you so now that you're here go ahead and level up your potions again get one of those for the crimson flasks and here, I'm actually going to go ahead and put six and three magics. And that's probably gonna, about the most amount of magics that I'll be using for this first part of the game. I always like to go through these merchants. Um, sometimes I have really good stuff. Like, uh, oh, I don't have enough for that. I would put my runes in there, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to get that either. All right, so I'm good for now. All right, let's go back down. 
I'm a potato. You're a potato. I'm a potato. We're all potatoes. All right, so give me one sec, guys. I'm just trying to see. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, everybody is leaving me alone. That's good. That's good. All right, now that I'm here, we're actually gonna go. All right, so next location uh, I'm actually gonna be heading to. It's kind of here, I guess you could say. Then I'm gonna go up here. And then I'm gonna come down here. So let's get on cooking. All right, so there's a few things I need to collect here. Do not go to the right here. Uh, there's a big troll guy that will try to murder you, so don't let him murder you. I think that's Radic, or uh, not Radic. I keep saying Radic, I just, because I learned his name, I thought it was cool. Here we get two golden seeds, so make sure to collect both of these. I'm gonna touch this, because I already got here. Then, like I said, I'm gonna go up. See that little blowing light? You see a little scarab right there? We're gonna hit him too. All right, let's continue forward. And we're gonna collect this. This we'll need for later. Uh, the reason I use that is when I'm dual, I'm using two weapons, like uh, two of the same or similar weapons, we can actually hit twice as much. Um, I did that on one of my builds that I have, and I suck at it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not good with that. But Okay, so we're going to hit the scarab with a heavy hit. Heavy hits are R, R2, so you want to go ahead and bring it down, bam, just like that. Now we got that, and that, if you know how to parry, is a really good thing to get. I suck at parrying. I actually beat the game without parrying. That's probably why I, I barely won. <laughs> what I mean I barely won, if y'all want to know, is that I didn't have any more potions, my health was almost gone, and the monster was almost dead, and I had my, um, my Mimic. Uh, Mimic is a spirit that you can collect later on in the game. That can kind of follow, can uh, basically a mimic of you. So it's it has all of your weapons and stuff. You can actually do a little bit of a thing to it where you can put them with some a different type of weapon if you want, and some other stuff that you can put on yourself with them. All right. So before I'm going to show y'all where to find the probably the biggest and strongest weapon in the game. Um, I started using it on my PS4. It actually isn't as good as the blood of the rivers of blood, honestly. But it's over here. You can actually sneak over here and get it without without fighting anything. But you gotta sneak over there. You can't just walk up over there. So you kind of sneak over here like this. You're gonna feel the ground trembling and stuff. Yeah. Oh, sh you saw that tail, right? Yeah. That Joker is too strong for me right now. But if you come over here to the back and you kind of crouch behind it, you can actually avoid getting murdered by this thing. Hop up here. And this right here, bro, this guy is probably the strongest weapon in this game. Yeah, the giant crusher. So I like to crouch back down and get the heck out of here. All right, so I am gonna actually go back to the grace because I want to go ahead and just finish putting my, uh, replenish all my um, my flasks and put everything to get together in order. And that would be how to get my character up in, str in strength and stuff. All right, so I am going to do a couple of changes here. So if you watch, I'll show you all what I do in this game to get ready to fight all the bosses and stuff in this game that I'll be fighting. Alright, there's one. Alright, allocate the flask. That's perfect for me right there. We're going to collect some more golden seeds throughout the game, but these are the main ones that you can collect right in the beginning. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I got these magics already, so I want to keep that. I know I have to do my faith at 15. I can do that later. But these two are important eventually. So we're going to go with those. And from my wondrous physics, I got my boost 
for that and then I need my dexterity these two here are pretty good to have in the beginning so make sure you have strength and dexterity that's what I usually play with in my game ashes of war now the bloodhound Fang does not have an option to do a um, ashes of war but you can if you're doing a strength build this is really good to have and that, but if you want to go ahead and get straight to the giant crusher you can get it but strength is 60 so just be just remember that if you want to wield that you have to have 600 um, or f I think you could do 50 and two-handed I think that's how that works 50 and two-handed or if you want to do the one hand you have to get your strength to 60 to be able to hold that one and I think another one if you do the game two game or the plus later on this one's good for the very beginning of the game but I wouldn't worry about it too much right now because you got these two right here which are really good anyway so yeah all right so what I like to do is I pretty much pulled out the majority of the map right so I'm actually gonna go back over here I'll show you all why that little thing that I picked up earlier that said I'll need that for later I'll show you what that is um, I picked that up right before I got that uh, scarab with the golden parry thing the little it kind of looks like an L I guess you can say this little item right uh, yeah this this little thing here is good to have and I'll show you why now because I'll be oh this girl's here good I can get another golden seed when she leaves and comes here to the round table hold she, she's the one that can put your spirits uh, to uh, stronger spirits so just talk to her until she does is her own pur purpose I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and activate her as well on here but now all right so now what I can do where are you oh I can strengthen them oh okay I can bring it to a five good that's good I could pretty much beat every boss in the first two maps right now with that weapon but uh, ashes of war duplication so I have this ash of war bloody slash I can actually duplicate it and now I talk about or whatever her name is all right and now when I come over here I can um, put the bloody slash to both of my weapons and really give this this monster or these guys a whooping if I want later on but right now I'm just doing my bloodhounds fame because it's it's pretty good already all right so I'm gonna kind of finish her story here and purpose and what she must do and that I'm telling her that he wanted to try her and see if she wants to do the spirit ashes thing and I'll show you what, if I have some um, glove warts I'll show you what what that is all right so I'll talk about little Derek again oh sorry I don't need to do that I might be able to level up again I don't know let me see inventory um, I'll do 2,000 just one 2,000 uh, I can put all these runes at once but I'm not doing that right now let me see if maybe for some reason oh shit I got a plus six nice yeah these guys are gonna die these guys are dead all right talk to the Roderica again and all right so now once I touch this grace I should be able yeah she disappeared back, back okay so now I'll show you she's actually right here to do the spirit tuning now spirits are basically the little wolves that I have that will help me fight guys I'll show you in a minute all right so spirit tuning so as you can see the wolves is what I have these are all spirits that I was collecting through the first part of the game I can upgrade them I don't have any grave glove warts because I haven't fought any um, any dungeons or anything yet but I can all right so that out of the way did I buy I do oh yeah so I bought this I need to have faith at 10 to use it I could level myself up some right now and get some I think I, I, I am gonna ruin okay so I am gonna go ahead and just use all my runes I'll show you all real quick I'm gonna level up some more of my stuff. But I got pretty much everything I need right now for the beginning of the two maps. 
now you can just pleasurely just play and not have to worry about shit um, for the first part of the game. You can do the big um, d the big castle in the bottom of the... I'd do the first uh, castle on the very bottom of the, of the two maps before I do the big boss. I mean, you can do the big boss of the of, of Limgrave if you want. It's not that big of a deal. You'll be able to defeat him with no issues. Well, as few issues, anyway. But, you know, it, it, just remember that it's... It, this game is tough. Alright, so, uh, Faith has to be at least 10, but I actually have to upgrade it some more. So I got enough to kill the bad guy at the end. And I should be able to... Or, oh yeah, I gotta go kill the, uh, a guy. Alright, so before I do any of that, I do have to kill one of these guys. So I did put this on here. So this is my next location I'm going to be showing, uh, going to. And what I'm doing is I'm going to prepare my, my uh, to get another OP weapon that I like to use sometimes. It's called the Uchi, or is it the Uchi Katana? It's one of the katanas. It's, a, it's the biggest, longest katana in the game. Let's see what this katana's name is. So not Uji katana. So the something katana. I'll have to show y'all when I get to. I can actually defeat all these bosses. And, oh yeah, I forgot to. I haven't changed my time to daytime. The only reason I'm doing it to daytime because there's some um, big bosses or some uh, outside bosses that can really wreck you. If you don't learn their move sets, did I do morning? I believe I did do morning. Okay, so we're in morning time now. Let's go ahead. Now here you can jump right off and you won't get hurt. So you can just do that right here. Jump close to this thing. You shouldn't die. There we go. Click this thing here. And we're gonna make sure I got my magic thing up. I don't. Let me go ahead and put that on. Oop. Nope. Are you? There you are. All right. Oh sh! Oh, what the heck? I forgot those guys were there. It's fine. I'm gonna put my lantern on. This is what the lantern is good for. All right. So let me see. If, okay. Yeah. I still can't use that, but I. Can, oh yeah. I can't use that yet. Fine. Whatever. All right. I'm gonna get back on my horse. I want to see how far I can go before. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna get knocked off my horse in a minute. Yep, right here. And I'm going to fight one of the first bosses of the game. I should make him, you know, should make him eat shit. So shouldn't be too hard to kill. There he is. This is an NPC that you need to defeat. Wham. And wham. Oh, nope. Oh, he killed himself. Okay. Here, eat this and take some of this. He's dead. Just like that. Now, usually there's that guy that, that, um... And he was going to show up in that little golden thing. But now, so you can continue the story, you actually got to come back over here to this uh, overhanging thing. Let's see if I can find it over here. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's kind of a long distance, but it's worth it. All right, there you are. I forget his name. I always forget this guy's name. Just make sure you keep talking until he stops talking. Alright, so he finished this. Now there's one more guy I need to kill in here. The uh, dagger that I just got, that blood dagger, is actually really OP. Or used to be really OP. I think they, they bogged it down some, so it won't be so powerful. But because of how fast it makes people bleed, it's pretty. O it used to be pretty OP back then. And it's not my family's home, so... Let me defeat these guys real quick, or this guy real quick, and then um, I think I'm going to get off, and um, we'll see. So I'm just going to show you all why this guy is so important, because this guy is very important, especially for this game. All right, so go right here like this, like this, like this, just kind of sneak over here to this side. We're going to kind of fight this guy here. Alright, so this guy here usually would be pretty tough in the beginning. Um, you could collect this, this clothing if you want, but it's not really necessary. 
I'll just open it up and then he'll start talking to you. See, well, well, well. And what I'm trying to get from this guy is there's a couple of good things that I can get from this guy. One of the first things I can get is a dagger. This is the lightest dagger in the game, so I can buff myself up. Did I kill him? Oh no. See, I almost killed him. He was almost dead, bro. <laughs> Don't kill him. But he was able to survive, so. Yeah, good thing I didn't kill him. He almost died, though. Alright, so now that you got, just talk to him until he stops talk, uh, so starts repeating himself. Make sure you have everything set up properly, though. So you, you will have to come back over here. So just talk to him until he starts to repeat himself. Repeat himself. Alright, so yeah. Alright, now, I'd like to just come back over here. Come back over here. I'm just going back to the beginning of the cave where I touched that grace. And and I'm going to actually... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, son. Hey, I'll be in in a minute. I'm just trying to finish this part of the game real quick. All right, so now we're going to come over here. And like again, let's just kind of sneak back here as best you can. And they shouldn't mess with you now. Even if they see you, they shouldn't be able to mess with you too much. And we're going to talk to Patches. Patches has a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to talk to him. Where is he at? Oh, damn, he left. How did oh, man, I think he... Uh, well, dang. All right, so the next location that you'll see him at, it's not here. I'm actually going to just, I'll, I'll show you all next time where um, he's located. Actually, let's try to think for a second. Actually, I'll show you where he's at real quick because I know where, he, I think I know where he's at. He's probably over, over here possibly. There's two places he could be. This is one of the first places he could be. I'll look and see if he's there. Um, if he's not though there's one more place that he should be at um, because I progressed so quickly to this area I think he okay so he might be at the um, manor over here so just travel to the manor because I talked to Raya she gave me the invitation and I was able to go to with her over there so right here should be right over here sorry I'm just talking a lot sorry guys um, that's taking forever. Usually it doesn't take that long on my PC. It's weird. All right, so where this guy's at, if he's not here, it's actually, there he is. Okay, so Patches has stuff to buy. So now we're going to talk to him for a little bit. Should or Okay, so here we're going to get a couple of things. Definitely get this right off the bat. Then get this dagger right off the bat. And then if you can collect some of these, I can only get one, so I'll get the one, golden seed, um, and that's it. So next thing we're gonna be, next time I play with you guys, or you'll watch me, it might be tonight, I don't know yet. It depends on how my family's feeling. But uh, I'm gonna travel back over here, and we're gonna start hopefully killing some bad guys. Uh, oh yeah, I have to set up my dagger. So I'll show you why it's important to use my dagger, or collect that dagger. Um, because it's very important to have that dagger. It's the lightest of the daggers in the game. And it just doesn't load you down. That's why I got it. That's why I bought it. That's why it's so important. Um, so Ash of War. We're going to actually put the dagger with the sacred parent. With the uh, Golden Vow. Golden Vow will buff you up quite a bit. If you look at... Alright, so a knife with curved heart handguards designed to parry turning foes att attacks against them for masters of combat who anticipate every enemy strike and counters accordingly this weapon is all they need so basically you get buffed up before you fight and I think it lasts like 30 seconds which is a lot so that's why it's so important all right so that's what it is that's why I like to carry that on me so what I, I would usually do is I would in my equipment I just put it right here so what I'll need so when I need it there it is I just turn it on or oh, maybe I have okay so, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> son. and then I just do dang, why do you do that to me man and I do that and it buffs me up and that's it it does use FP but that's fine it, it's part of the game you need to buff up but it's very helpful 
All right, guys. Um, until next time, we'll be fighting guys and killing some of these bad guys here on the next uh, episode. So until then, guys, hope you enjoyed this stream. And uh, this is Eric with Duckass Gaming. If you want to follow me, give me a thumbs up. Get me um, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll give you some more content. Um, but yeah, now we can kill some guys. So if you follow me, you do what I what I just done. You should be able to kill some of these bosses in this game at, uh, with ease. If not, just wait until the next uh, video, and I'll show you how easy it will be with this weapon. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.